Let's see what is on TV tonight. We now go live to Orlando, Florida, where Jeremy is being asked to pronounce a word. Let's check to see how he is doing. Come on, man. Say the sticking word. Orangutan. Orangutan. Uh, uh, Orjigantan? Son of a... Think I'm fucking with you? I'm a simp! The because more people MVP. thought that he was better than you right. thought he was. No. <laughs> oh man, I, I I really don't like this game. If I could be honest, I don't like this fucking game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Steph Curry won the, the undisputed. You know, there's always going to be people when you make something that's somewhat controversial that are just flat out not gonna like what you're doing. Right. And we didn't make the movie for them. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that, ultimately, if, if that's their response is to just cut it off and not even try. <laughs> Now this is more like it. night main event because what the fuck else you gonna watch what's going on everyone it's jeremy and we are live i don't know where this sound is coming from i hear sound right now in my ears and i don't know where it's coming from oh that's the desktop there we go okay we're live it's tuesday night's main event i hope you guys enjoy that intro it's going to be an interesting night uh, i wish we had someone that was in the news cycle uh to talk to tonight but we'll just have to deal with ryan i guess but uh hi ryan how are you tonight uh, I'm doing great, Jeremy. Uh, I'm really excited to talk to our guest today. Uh, obviously, he's been in the news a lot, been making the rounds, so we're honored to have him here. Uh, I have a bone to pick with whoever sent you that email earlier, um, because honestly, the fact that I was only mentioned that way, I would rather not be mentioned at all or have a whole paragraph written about me. I don't appreciate. You were a side note. Mentioned. You were just a side note. I wasn't mentioned, I guess. You were mentioned, but it was. Like footnote in history. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what's going on, young Ripper? What up, what up, man? Same old shit. Nothing new. <laughs> I love putting that. I can't stop watching that clip of you freaking out over Mario Kart. I, it's, I'm never getting rid of it. It's, it's going to be as famous as this one right here that I will constantly use. Never apologize for standing up for an LGDP, uh, LGT, LBT. LGBTQ2 plus. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> um, the, the, the best part about Ripa's clip is that he's like trying to be like, oh man, yeah, I hate this game, but I'm still here. And then he realized like, he can't fake it anymore. He's like, I don't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> game sucks man <laughs> oh man uh let's see am i the only one with good audio why is that hmm i don't know why everyone else would have audio issues hmm Are they saying... i'll listen for a little bit okay listen for a little bit and see okay krista nova canada's very own non-controversial person that uh doesn't do anything but talk about chicken nuggets what's up krista <laughs> beep hello beep chat. hello hello turn up everybody else's Turn up the desktop. Volume. I did. I, bu I bumped the I bumped desktop all the way up full blast. So I don't know why it's not working. Um, I'll get into the settings here in just a minute. But we are joined by the number one artist on iTunes right now, the most canceled man on the internet, um, more so than even Alex Jones, at least for this week. Uh, Bryson Gray. Hi, Bryson. How are you? Yeah. What's happening? What's happening, man? Thank y'all for having me on. What's up? 
Oh man, it's uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Um, and I don't know um, what type of week it's been for you, but I, I bet it's been a whirlwind. So, are you keep, how are you keeping up with everything going on? I just do it. I don't like. I don't even. I never stress about stuff. Like people ask me to do an interview, I say, "Boom, let's just make it happen, bro." Because I don't have to plan nothing. I'm just. I just go with the flow of life, man. I don't stress. Stress is bad. I hear you, man. I hear you. Well, congratulations on all the success, and thank you for joining us. Um, you know, uh, I told uh, we joked about this a, a little bit earlier, uh, but you you did rate us a, a while back on on uh, Twitch, and your name was threw us off. And we're like, is that really Bryce Gray? And so yeah, it was uh, it was pretty cool. I did bump up the audio, so we should be good now. Uh, I just did uh, tweak it up a little bit, so I think we're good now. Let me know, chat. But yeah, it, it's a pleasure. I mean, so how many interviews have you done so far today? I think I've done six or seven today. I got like six or seven tomorrow. I'll I, I be having to wake up at like five in the morning because I'm I'm in Arizona and everything else is Eastern time. So I'll be having to like wake up three hours. Like, ugh, like I had yeah. to wake up at five this morning and I'm still yeah. out. I'm still doing it. Yeah. I, I just I was living in California for the past four years and uh, I lived on Eastern time my entire life. Moved out there for my last couple of years in the Navy. Thought I was going to hate it. Pacific time. NFL games at 10 in the morning. Are you serious? And then I like, just got used to it. Now I'm dead. I cannot wake up before <laughs> nine o'clock. I'm just permanently on West Coast time. I'm a freaking bum. I know. It's so funny. To, <laughs> Ryan, get, like, I, I, I used to, because here I'm Central Time Zone because I'm in Pensacola, Florida. So I would just call. I would know when I could call Ryan. Like, I'd be like, it's 12 o'clock for me. And I'm like, let me call Ryan. Now when I call Ryan at 12 o'clock my time, he's like, hello. I'm like, oh man, I forgot you're in the East Coast now, you know. So uh, it, it's pretty funny, but yeah. So uh, we're obviously going to talk about everything that Bryson's been through. We're going to talk about a lot of the craziness going on, everything from Dave Chappelle, uh, that you know, Dave Chappelle just continuing to not let these fools, you know, uh, affect him in any way, shape, or form. And the more he does that, the more it drives him crazy. I saw an article earlier that and I'll try to pull it up. It was on Twitter, but it basically said that. Dave Chappelle and Kyrie Irving are being used by white supremacy or some stupid crap like that. And it's just like, oh, my gosh. Like, it, it's, and that's the projection. You know, we all know with the left, they love to project. So basically what they are saying, and you can almost take this to the bank. Basically what that article is saying is that we, we try and use non-white people based on what we can do to push our agenda. So now they're accusing other people of doing that because they're projecting of their own, the, the things that they are guilty of. These people are disgusting freaks, man. It's, it's just a weird kind of dynamic. And I, I don't know, like uh, Ripa and Bryson, you guys know each other, right? Or, I mean, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. And, and so, I mean, you guys like, I mean, you guys are kind of like, you know, obviously you're on different spectrums of the political landscape, but ultimately you're in the same place because you don't agree with the left narrative. So therefore you're the same exact person, a black guy that they can't <laughs> utilize. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's so weird to hear Ripa always being accused of a Trump supporter. And it's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what is, have you ever done research? You know what I mean? No. And it's like, it's insane to me. Like these idiots see, cause Uche is part of geeks and gamers. Okay. Uche is about as nuts as i can imagine left wing i love uche okay but dude's nuts ask ripa he argues with him all the time on twitter yeah they just see the uche's part of geeks and gamers and they go another trump supporter another uncle you know what and i'm like uche you think uche's what have you seen them dude's twitter account you know and it's like they only see non-white people as what can i do to push my narrative and if they can't do that then they just start grouping everybody up into this thing and it's it's a, it's a psychotic situation, you know, yep. but the thing I think is important is Rip is out there creating his own stuff. We're creating our own stuff at Geeks and Gamers. You know, uh, you got Comics Gate out there. You got Bryson Gray out there creating his own stuff. And it doesn't matter who you are, what your background is, who you voted for. If you're creating your own stuff and battling against that nonsense, that's the way we win the culture war as far as I'm concerned. You know, yep. I mean, Ripa. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Ripa? No, that's, I mean, that's 100% true. I mean, I've been the guy for the better half of the decade screaming at, you know, both libertarians and, and conservatives that, you know, having the best arguments and all of this shit and memes like like uh, that, you know, we try to speak into existence are awesome and all, but it, it doesn't mean a hill of beans 
culturally, which is, you know, well, politics is the down downstream. And they need to understand that a lot of people are starting to get that now, uh, that it's the downstream. You change the politics, you change the, um, you know, the culture, the politics change by default. It ain't the other way around. So what you're seeing now is people that are actually putting their, you know, boots on the ground. And they're, that's going to be far more impactful than combating the left than really anything that they've done in the last fucking 30 years just to be completely honest so it, it's it only seems like it means nothing to the person that's been thinking that just having the best ideas is the way to go uh yeah that person doesn't want to concede that they're <laughs> that they sh the shit they've been doing for the last years has hasn't been working so when you see what you know we had bryson is doing or what anybody else is doing that's making something like a, definitely an alternative come into fruition it's impactful because what it does is it relates on a level that has nothing to do with necessarily politics alone. Right. So it's like you lead with something else. So in, in that case is rap music. You know what I mean? Like people connect with that. Um, and it generally has little to nothing to do, do with politics. That doesn't mean that a song can't be uh, political, but I'm saying like that, that gap was bridged by way of the music in itself. Obviously my band has done that with, with, you know, with backwards and the same thing us doing metal. It's the same exact thing. So, you know, that is far more conducive to reasoning. I don't even want to use that term because you really can't reason with these types. But uh, it, it, that's more conducive uh, than than what we typically see or what people think. Well, we just lead with the argument and the argument alone and just uh, and that's it. No, that's not good enough. This stuff matters. And these the people that are fighting this war culturally are the people that are actually going to change the, the, the tide. And uh, thankfully, it took people a while because I've been screaming this shit for the better part of a decade. But now people are starting to understand how important that this stuff is. When they wrote off rap, when they wrote off metal, hardcore punk rock, they wrote wrote all of those uh, things off as small. Who cares? Nobody gives a shit about what these guys say. And they lost to the left because they control all of that. Now you're starting to see people put forward actual uh, 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 movement. And also you see how thirsty people are for this type of stuff. Um, because they will support it in the event that, oh, wow, finally, it's an alternative. I can actually support an artist that doesn't fucking hate me. That's it. It's it's that simple. It's that simple. Now, Bryson, uh, tell everybody here, and I'm sure most people already know, but you have had a song uh, banned from YouTube for medical misinformation received two strikes. Is that correct? Yes, I received two strikes on one day because they banned the lyric video and the music video right after uh, I find it interesting because um, this is my this is probably my most least controversial song I've ever made. <laughs> if you guys go listen to my music, after, once you get five songs in, five songs in, you're like, oh, they banned. Let's go, Brandon. That's very interesting. <laughs> so you know, you know, it, it's very confusing, but I'm used to it, bro. I've been banned on pretty much pretty much everything. Also, I just want to add to uh to to Ripper's point that yes, everything is downstream from culture. And um, what you realize is Republicans don't get that. Yep. Right wingers, yes. right wingers don't don't get that yes. at all. It's kind of yes. it's, it's very weird. It's the same thing with gaming. You yep. tell them you're a gamer, you're you're on Twitch or something like that, they're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. They, they try to talk down on it. And I'm like, well, meanwhile, a AOC, AOC yep. is streaming among us to four hundred thousand yes. people and yep. dominate your children. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like all it is is like they get your children young. Matter of fact, is 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 worse so than music. Because these kids be watching these streamers, learning their personality for hours, getting taught by them, growing up to try to try to be like them. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of people didn't really didn't really get it, man. So I, I was gonna do it anyway. So you know, even even if something went viral, didn't go viral, it don't matter. Well, you're, you're a thousand percent spot on with that about the right and what yes. we do and how how people. I think we were talking about actually some, a take that Cernovich had yep. uh, yeah. about superman about who cares about superman nobody cares about superman anymore you're just an incel in your basement if you care about that it's and that's a bad take fucking idiot. yeah and to go on top of the you know politics downstream from culture well what can change culture is entertainment like the mm -hmm. entertainment thing like what we see in entertainment definitively changes culture Absolutely. which can then change politics which is why the left you know you got to give them credit they saw that they infiltrated all these entertainment spaces movies, video games, comic books, everything. And they have been able to change culture to a certain extent. And now we are where we're at politically. So it's yep. important. These things are important. These battles are worth fighting, even if milquetoast conservatives don't want to believe that.
Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Who is it, R Ripa? I keep forgetting who it was that you called out about the gaming take. Uh, uh, former, NBA, uh, former MLB player. Uh, 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 what was his name? Aubrey Huff. Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey Huff. Huff. Yes, Aubrey, Aubrey Huff. Yeah. Just which, like which I love Aubrey. Huff. I love Aubrey yeah. Huff too. But like what, what Bryson's saying, and obviously Ripa's made this point a lot, and I, I've talked about Ripa making that point one time, and it really kind of stood out to me because obviously I've noticed about the right, but it, it's like why are you going after the biggest? industry right now why are you trying to you know sit there and talk down to the biggest industry when we are sitting here fighting for our freedoms and our lives and again what bryce said you you don't have to like aoc i don't like her i think she's an idiot but she knows how to play the game when she's going on twitch and she's getting connected to these massive influencers who all they want to do is be noticed and be connected and take pictures with people and when aoc comes on there and games with them and gets them an extra two or three thousand followers and gets them featured in articles they're going to be like i love aoc they don't care about the policy they ain't paying attention to the policy they just paying attention to their pockets and these republicans are sitting there talking down to people that want to play video games what is wrong yeah. with you it makes no yep. sense Silly. it's yep. absolutely you know, insane you know the craziest thing i feel like the trump campaign didn't do you know what I'm saying? Because marketing wise, I think this, I think this last run, I think the marketing was terrible, like disgustingly terrible. Like, bro, you could have had you could have had Trump playing Call of Duty, Fortnite, just just some on Twitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like it's like I don't I don't I don't I don't get it. I'm like, bro, this is so obvious. You could just look at statistics. Rap mm -hmm. is the most popular genre in this country. That's pure statistics. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what rate. It doesn't matter. What, it don't matter what race you are. Everybody listens to rap. Everybody watches. Everybody gaming, especially the young kids that's gonna grow up and lead this country in 20, 30 years. So if you're not reaching them, you you just playing to lose. Yep. That now it, it, what it is 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 they try to. I said this on the last show, I believe last week, and that what people on you know it's it's, it's a lot of non leftists, so libertarians, conservatives, they have the same damn mistake. But what they do is they try to treat their their adversaries like so in this case the left um, as if they think like them. You know what I mean? So they walk into the room like I've dealt with these people for I don't know how long. Like, okay, I have the best ideas. I'm the smartest person in the room and that's good enough. So they think that everybody else responds to that. And, and that's such a idiotic take, unfortunately, and it's so inept because most people don't respond uh, necessarily to that unless you package it in a way that they can, uh, they can, uh, you know, digest it. I always say that you can't uh, reason a person out of a position that they got to by way of emotion. You know what I mean? So a lot of these people, either grew up on on this or like what ryan was saying a lot of the people that they give a fuck about they value this particular set of systems or, or values or whatever it is you might not you might think it's stupid i said this and a lot of people attested this back when she was running aoc you know she is literally my age her and i are the same exact age i said she's representative of my entire generation you know what i mean like that's if y'all and, and, and at the time oh well, she's ditzy she's a bartender She'll never make waves in the Democratic Party because she's far too too left. And I was like, y'all need to be paying attention to her because she 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 gets it. And now you see that she's one of the, if not you know the most among definitely young folk, notable uh, uh, politician right now. And that's because she understands the value of that. She is ditzy. She's about as dumb. You've heard her. She's about as dumb as a box of rocks. She can't she can't explain <laughs> shit at the damn time. However. That that doesn't matter. She has the attention of the people uh, that you know they value maybe other things like you mentioned playing Among Us or something like that in video games, and that's how they won. They didn't win by having the best ideas. They 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 won by infiltrating these cultural aspects that for 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 years conservatives and libertarians thought were too trivial to pay attention to. They didn't care about it. It's like who cares about what a rapper say? Who cares about what a actor or actress says? And I'm like, dude. Your average individual, average young person specifically, they have no idea who their local representative is, be it state or a uh, uh, federal government wide. You know who they do know? Their favorite artists. They know their favorite actors. They know their favorite actresses. They know their favorite streamers. They know exactly who those guys are, and I'm willing to bet they can repeat where they stand uh, politically. And that's where they pick a lot of this shit up. So, for, so this is why I never bought into this shit of well, they have just simply kept people out of the genre or kept people out. And some of that may be to an extent true, but you can't ignore how they utterly neglected that 
uh, for years and how they wrote people off that were participating in this. You know, back in the gap when it was more like rock, punk rock stuff, and conservatives were like, fuck all that shit, you're stupid. You guys are devil worshippers. Nobody gives a shit about any, any of that. Losing an entire generation of people that were growing up on that in the process. So now, fortunately, they still don't get it, but you're seeing more people more privy to this idea that this is where the battle is going to be fought. Those weirdos in the suits that you guys have been listening to that were the smartest people, they talk all fast and shit. They they might, you know, yeah, they, they might have the ideas, but they don't know how they're they don't know how to communicate those to people where we're the guys that we influence, they can't even reach them, which is why they half the time don't know what conservatism is. They don't know what libertarianism is because they're getting it from some idiot who may be stupid and may be straw manning it but that's where their influence is coming from they listen to that person so it, it, it's been a, it's been twofold it's been one of those things where they yeah you have those gatekeepers now which i'd argue that people that value liberty should have been gatekeeping these hobbies back in the gap now the left controls it and now they gatekeeping <laughs> but what i'm saying is that it ain't just that we've seen a lot of neglect for the arts for the culture for the entertainment stuff and that's why they lost. They, 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 they're they starting to concede it now, but I guess better later than never shit. Well said. Facts. Facts. Well said. They neglected it. Yeah. Facts, bro. I'll I, I be telling you what it is. You know, it's funny. R.P. Kingface, when I first started going viral, uh, the, the campaign managers stuff, they used to purposely stay away from me and Kingface because they thought we was too Fucking ghetto. Stupid. I don't wear suits. So they never promoted. They never promoted. They, they, they didn't promote me and Kingface, bro. E- even now. I like I was so shocked when I saw certain people post about let's go Brandon uh going number one. I said this people wouldn't touch me with a 10 foot pole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 but that's that's you seeing how like like the, uh, some of them are starting to understand that. Like cause because you know, I've been a, a, a lot of us this is why I do my stuff with the blaze all the time. And you know, you don't see me, I wear no fucking suit, I talk the same goddamn way uh, 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 everywhere. Because look, this is yeah, will they maybe hit a group of people that I may, I can't like influence potentially, but it goes the other way as well. And that's the part that they didn't understand. I, or, or, or Bryson, or, you know, or, you know, King face or all these other people that were, that were in these kind of pockets of subculture will influence other folks that you need at the end of the day uh, to be champions for, for some of these ideas. If you are going to combat, let's say the left. So like I said, you start, I've seen the shift. Um, and it has happened definitely compared to, I don't know, 2016, 2017 going into now. And hopefully that momentum keeps up because they've been listening to people who've been losing for such a very long, long time because they thought, hey, I wear a suit. I'm the smartest person. And that's all I need because everybody responds to reason alone. And no, they don't. No, they yeah. Don't. yeah period. I think the reason we're seeing that is because of what happened in 2020. Yep. You know, like to your point, Bryce, and the fact that that I think that that the biggest failing of Donald Trump's entire four years was not tackling online censorship. And that's ironically what we're going to be talking about tonight in regards to you and your song. But if they did not realize the impact that alternative media or alternative culture had on the 2016 election, you know, the, the, and it was tight race. And the reason that that happened, I think was solely because of people like, you know, whether it was like Crowder or people like that who are out there spreading that message and I feel like the people that Trump surrounded himself with um, gave were the really bad advice. Conservatives, that were the, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Facts. They were the milk toast conservatives. And they were like, we don't need to worry about the Internet. We don't need to worry about 230. Let's worry about changing Obamacare. People hate Obamacare. They don't like that word associated with this health care. Let's focus on that instead yep. of the real thing that could change culture in this country. Well, I remember when Trump uh, and again, everybody knows I'm a Trump supporter, uh, almost ap- unapologetically. But. I remember when he made that comment about video games and violence, oh my and, God. and I made I and, and, I, and I, I made a video here on this channel. And I remember the leftists have they they screenshotted this and roasted me because they just don't understand because they're too dumb. I titled it "Donald Trump just made the biggest mistake of his presidency," and I, and I basically was like, "You are alienating such a massive group of people by comments like that. You don't understand what you are doing." And of course, the left was like, "Imagine the most racist, sexist president ever in this." guy thinks the biggest mistake is video games because that was such a important thing that he was alienating by those comments and and i i went off on him about that i'm just like 
That is not helping anybody. It's not helping anybody, and that is such a tone deaf statement. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and I think you know. Again, I I think it's good that again, none of us. I I did not know Bryson had that that you know kind of vision about like how conservatives are per se. Like I'd never heard him say Everybody anything that's about it. So, that's, but we know. It. We, we all, all know, know it. it. Yeah, and it's <laughs> great. It's great to hear this because it's like more people need to start waking up to this. And so it's like. When you have that conservative voice out there that's trying to call out video games or comic books or whatever, check them. Let them mm -hmm. know, like, you ain't helping nothing. All you're mm -hmm. doing is helping the left continue to eat up that audience because those people are not paying attention to policy. Those, generally, I'm not saying all gamers, all people, but generally it's people like the streamers, the gamers. If you're playing Call of Duty for, like, 16 hours a day, you ain't paying attention to policy. Okay. And most of them are fucking <laughs> stupid. Like, anyway, like God. because of that. Like me, remember? I don't know if y'all remember me and Ninja got into it. Yes. This guy <laughs> has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. He's just repeating what everybody else tells him, but that's all he's surrounded by. Because yeah. it's not like there's any of us that are around him to be like, "Hey, Ninja, you're wrong. I know what you feel this mad shit is about, but you're incorrect. Like yeah. the, you're, that is not a right statement. But who? Who? It's not like there's a bunch of us. Oh, we're over there, but it's not like because, you know, it's kind of late now, but they had taken over already over there. So all they're surrounded by is a bunch of brainlit leftists. So, yeah, like those guys that, that, that those streamers that who are very influential, by the way, it's not like they know what they're talking about. But that goes to show that it's not about the ideas. It's not about the, about the policies. It's just that's what they're around. That's what they get to regurgitate. If we had any sort of of, 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 of mainstay there then maybe it would be different. But because we haven't, because conservatives had neglected that for so long, well, that's an example of it manifesting in the way that it did. So, yeah, you're right. They should be getting checked off. I mean, shit, I, I check these motherfuckers all the time. Uh, <laughs> like, there's no shortage of videos of me. Uh, when they get it wrong, I, I'll let them know when they get it, when they certainly get it wrong. But that's such a necessary thing because that, those are the guys that are in the way. You know, I always talk about, like, these people who... It's, I come back to left all day long. Like, that's all day. What I don't got fucking time for is the person where I generally agree that the main issue right now is the left getting in the way of me or, or what it is that I am... I don't got time for that shit. I'd rather not... If you, if you don't get it, then just get out the way. You know what I mean? So if you don't understand that, let's say, gaming or something like that is valuable... Shut the fuck up. Just get out the way. Yeah. Just get Shut out the way. Exactly. <laughs> Shut up. Bro, this is what I've been telling some people, bro. I, I've been seeing too many politicians talk like talk down on video games. And every time I'm like, please shut up. <laughs> Just stop talking. Yeah. Yeah. You you you, you, you messing yourself. You like bro, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I changed I changed my party affiliation back to independence so quick. And I had to because bro, the like the, the marketing the Republican do the Republicans do is so silly. It's like mm. You literally, it's almost like you want to lose. Yeah. Either, you, either you're so out of touch that you need some young people in there, not super young, but people that's not like, listen, my, one of my Boy favorite, God. bro, listen, <laughs> one of my favorite conservatives of all time is Ben Carson's because his story is crazy. But bro, not, nobody I grew up with know who Ben Carson is. Yeah. <laughs> and if he's on TV, they're not going to listen to Ben Carson. This yeah. is just the reality. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying they shouldn't be. I'm not saying they shouldn't listen to Ben Carson. I'm saying they won't. And you have to, you have to, there's no point of having a good message if you can't relay that message to somebody else. Absolutely. 100%. It, it's like, is Mike Huckabee a relatable person to 20 year old people? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not really. And I've met, I've met Mike Huckabee. I shook his hand and got his book and everything like that like 10 years ago. But yeah, he, he's not somebody that's going to be able to do that. And we, they need to start getting this mindset. There has been so many goddamn baby boomers. Right, man. baby boomers. It, like that's Boomer the generation times, that needs man. to get out of the way. Yep. When it comes move, to man. what move. we're doing, yeah. yeah they're, they're, if you don't get it, just move. That's all I ask. Just move. Like it, it ain't like I don't. I'm not even asking for your assistance uh, for the most part. But what I don't got time for, and this is again when we talk about Aubrey Huff, that's the part that becomes well Cernovich. That's the part that becomes the issue. It's it's when you get in the way because yeah. you can't wrap your mind around how influential this is or how much this stuff matters. So you think it doesn't because everybody, of course, thinks like you. Uh, Conservatives had another dumbass take about like college football and its influence as well. It's like, dude, like you don't, you're not even attempting the, to get this Yeah, shit. that's the reddest of red sports yeah, right like, there, you, man. You're not <laughs> attempting, it's like you don't value it. And you may think that it's something that is the dumbest thing that a human being can do. 
But the, the analogy that I use, it's like fucking, you know, the world sports, soccer, football, depending on where you call it. You know, just because Americans don't tend to play that, you know what I mean? Like, it, obviously, our two dominant sports are NFL and, you know, or rather football and, and, and basketball. That does not stop. That, like, you can't up and say, well, because I don't like it. Well, soccer or that the culture surrounding it isn't influential. It's the fucking world sport. So whether you like it or not is, is to, to be honest, is irrelevant. It doesn't even matter. But that's the part that they conflate. Like, I've had enough humility to recognize that, and this is why I don't even attempt to, like, there are certain people in this world that, that I will never be able to uh, reel in. So this is why I always talk about culture so much, because, like, every individual has something that they relate to in regards to other individuals that may not lead with politics every single i don't know you maybe you go to the church maybe it's uh maybe it's uh, in our case music uh, of different genres maybe it's gaming maybe it's a knitting club who cares or uh, what it is that's your ticket of, of 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 influence right there among people that maybe are in a demographic that i simply can't touch but i have enough, have enough humility to recognize that that okay that's a demographic of people that i don't understand i'm not there so I'm not going to try to attempt to do that. But if there is someone, I'll even help them out in some regards. If there is someone that can reach that audience, because that's something that they individually value. What a lot of conservatives have not been able to do is separate those two things. And it is just because you don't like it does not mean that it isn't of influence. It doesn't mean that it does not that it doesn't matter. It very well can matter. It just might not matter to you. And that's OK. That's the beauty of liberty in the first place. And I tell them all the time, like, let's let's assume that for those because everybody here values liberty. Everybody calls themselves a different thing. I obviously am a libertarian, but the core concept is liberty. Like, that's what we are about. If we if the, we move uh, like the world or let's say in our case, the United States closer to what would look like liberty oriented like country, we'd have more of these sorts of things that people think are trivial, not less. We'd have more of it because we wouldn't have to worry about the politics and all that shit because the, the, in, the impact of that would be almost insignificant. That's what liberty actually uh, is about because it doesn't impede on you and your individual rights. But they don't get that. They haven't got that for a very long time and they have been able to get away with it. And really what hurt them is the, 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 the fast spread of a lot of this information because at some point they could keep it under wraps at least. You know, now we got internet. So shit, you could post something... Uh, or people are, you know, kind of buried in their phones. They see things almost instantaneously, which allowed them, the people that had that cultural imprint, it allowed them to spread this message to those people that were willing to give it an ear. So this is why, look, man, uh, people that mess me out, oh, how do I get involved? Like, you get involved by continuing to do what it is that you want to do. Let these other motherfuckers run that shit into the ground. I always tell these conservatives, like, if you if you in my way, like, we got problems, but... I don't got time for that. Like my ultimate goal here is to work towards a more free or more prosperous uh, uh, area. And in order to do that, I can't, I have to be me. You know what I mean? You might not like it. You might not understand it. Everybody say there, the lies rough around the edges. I get that. But to act like there aren't people that respond to that is nonsense. And that's where they don't get it because they think everybody thinks like them. And that's always been a problem. It's been a problem. Yeah. Facts. Let me be, let me be me. Even though, listen, I know I'm probably the most far right person on here, which is cool. But it reaches my, the, my method. I don't know. Ryan's here. People. Ryan's here, so he might he might be competing with you. So. I got I got the right haircut. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead though, Bryson. <laughs> nah, I, I was just saying any different methods can reach different people. But like like Eric just said, stay out of people's way. Like if you don't if you don't if you don't like my message, fine. If you don't like how I'm relaying it. People say, you know, Bryson is too far right. I'm too, I'm every name you can think of, homophobic, transphobic, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Everyone in the book. That If you don't like it, then do, do your message. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not getting away yeah. your message. Yep, I'm not getting it. That's the thing. And that's the reciprocity that I asked for. Like you mentioned, I'm not getting in your way. I have never stopped any. It's like when we came up in the metal scene. First, you had all these other guys. Oh, they perform a different kind of metal that I would like to perform. Basically mad because I'm in a position that they not. And that I have the platform and they don't basically cry like, oh, if I had that platform, I'd do it differently. Okay, do it. 
because I'm not stopping you just because we're seeing success doesn't mean you can't see success and what it is that you're doing. Just get out, just go do your thing. I, I'm not getting in your way. All I ask is that you don't get in mine, man. That, that's here. The simple thing. Yep. Just reciprocate that, man. Well, simple. simple. And, and I, I've repeated this before, but I'm going to continue to repeat because I think it's worth, you know, noting. You know, before me and Ripper really knew each other well, we knew of each other. You know, we'd interacted some. And, and if I show up in his chat, uh, just talking shit just because what me and Rippa do, you know, like he would he would then, you know, tell everybody about Geeks and Gamers, but then he would always tell people, go check out his personal channel. He's been talking more politics over there. At no point, at no point did Rippa ever go, just to be clear, he's a Trump supporter and we don't agree on everything. He didn't qualify <laughs> it because he's not worried about it. Like, that's what we got to get back to about not, you know, not having to qualify our opinions or our friends' opinions or d disqualify them. You yeah. know, we got to get to that point. And I remember that stood out to me because I'm like, this guy doesn't agree with me, like, in terms of Trump. Obviously, on the yeah. bigger picture, we, we see eye to eye on a lot of things. But I was like, at no point does he ever feel that he has to qualify himself to his audience because he already respects his audience enough to know that I don't have to dumb things down for you guys. Go watch Jeremy. If you like him, subscribe. If you don't, you ain't got to. Like, he was just, like, telling people what I'm doing. And that, that really stood out to me, you know, because, I, you know, and we have to get more of that. And I'm guilty yeah. of that, too, where I'm like, hey, go check out so-and-so because we, we don't agree on everything. But the whole thing is nobody agrees on everything. Nobody. Yeah. Well, except, ex yeah, yeah. <laughs> except, for, think, except for common sometimes... sense people. Common sense people agree that the left is is insane. But go ahead, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. <basically. laughs> I think sometimes we say that because, like, we know our audience. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. if our audience, like, if I were to go send my audience to say, "Hey, listen, I know this guy's a good dude," and all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, I, I, you know, I voted for Biden. I don't support all the mandates," but then they'd be like. What do you mean? Ryan sent us here. You know, you know I mean? so, like, I think that may be why we get in one of those habits. But can, I, I do. Can someone I to, please clip Ryan saying I voted for Brandon? Uh. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I do think that I totally agree with what Ripper said, except I draw the line when it comes to soccer. Soccer fucking sucks. Um, <laughs> hey, but these soccer players. I, I know they, I've never watched soccer day in my life, but I know the, a lot of the most popular soccer players because that's all. Like in the gaming yeah. community, they all got their the profile pictures is these yeah. people and everything. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. It's like Ronaldo. Like we think of like fucking LeBron or these these people who are like yeah. mega stars who might you know we obviously you know feel our ways about them, but they're still mega stars at the end of the day. Well, you take yep. what he is, and you take like Ronaldo and Messi to the world at large, double and triple. Like yeah, he's double yeah. triple of what you could ever envision that like a guy like LeBron is. Like that's how massive yep. those guys are. Yep, hundred uh, percent. Let me knock out a couple of these super chats real quick, and then we get back into the discussion. Uh, we got Lane. Bristow for 10 says, I'm sure this will be discussed, Bryson, but might want to bring up a screen gra grab of number one, two, and six on iTunes. Most popular former vice president in U.S. history. Uh, so, yeah. So, <laughs> Bryson, so tell us a little bit about this iTunes charts right now, about what's going on with iTunes. And you are at the top of iTunes on the rap charts right now, correct? With Let's Go Brandon? Yeah, oh, oh, all genres. I'm number one on all genres oh, on iTunes okay. and all genres, all nice. genres on Amazon. The That's funny huge. thing is, I did not, I didn't, I did not want to make a Let's Go Brandon song. I, because one thing I hate is trendy stuff. I hate attaching my name to trans. I don't like it. I think it's not original. It's corny. Uh, but like six people released theirs, right? Like two country singers released one. Then the rapper do, then the first, the first rapper do release one, even though he claims he released the first one. Cap. But then multiple <laughs> rappers released them. Um, and then uh, a preacher, this guy named Black Conservative Preacher. He's like Bryson, come on, bro. You gotta make one like for the Christians and stuff. Cause I don't, I don't curse. And then I was like, I'm not doing it, bro. And then uh, afterwards, he said, Bro, I need something my son can listen to. He pulled on my strings. <laughs> then I said, and I said, All right, I'll make it, but I ain't promoting it like that. Next thing I know, it was like number, it was like number four on iTunes, like without me promoting it. And I'm like, What? Like, what? And then, uh, and then after that, I was like, let me push it a little bit. Then YouTube banned it. And then after that. Yeah, yeah. What, what what people call it the Streisand effect or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's that true. Happen. It's true. It, it is crazy. And so you know, we've got four. I think four. Let's go, Brandon. Songs are on the on the rap charts uh, as well. Top top, top four five. positions in the top five. Four of the top no, it's five. five. It's five. It's five. five. In the top, it's five in the top eight. 
Okay. Okay. So, but but hey, but I, that that's not that's not. I'm not trying to you know. I'm not trying to move away from the narrative that it's just angry white men in their basement that don't like Biden. I mean, let's just keep that going. Mainstream media. <laughs> Good lord, and, man. And then Bryson. And then what I thought was hilarious was I saw you tweet it out. I saw Pasovic tweeted it out as well. It's like this one article. It was like. Adele's doing great on the radio, but has been dethroned temporarily by moronic let's go anti brand. <laughs> it was so this they hate it. they hate it, man. They hate it. Yeah. He, but no, that goes like about being in their space, right? Like that that's why that's I mean it goes back to the conversation we just had, right? They do, they don't like that because it points to like holy crap, we're losing control uh of that. That's why they see that and they feel so threatened uh by it. So if you really wanted to take it to them. It ain't just sitting over debating these guys all day long, uh, making cool, you know, I, don't get me wrong, I've done that before as well, but that's not how you win. It's you go do something that they are into, which they think they uh, have a monopoly on, and then you just kill them. Like that, 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 that makes them, like you really want to own the libs. That's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. I literally yeah. say that, bro. I, yeah. I, 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 I say conservatives always talk about owning the libs. If you really want to own the libs, and, and I tweeted out the article that he was just talking about, I said, because in the end of the article, he was like, don't worry, nobody's actually buying this stupid song. Adela passed him in the morning. And I said, if y'all really want to own the libs, just make sure Adele don't win. Because this this is this is Ode- uh, Adele comeback season, too. Yeah. This is her comeback. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was telling people, like, you really want to piss people off? Don't let her back in because this is culture. Now we're talking about culture. Yep, you know what yep, I'm saying? Yep. So yeah, absolutely. Like and that, hey, but that but that okay. shows the power of it. I'm just the last thing I'm gonna say. No, you like good. a lot of people think that you know because it is trivial, you know, or they thought that it was trivial. They undermine how powerful that 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 you know people are definitely in numbers that it is. You know, this is why I always I, you know I'm, I'm more of a white pill guy. Like I believe we go in at the end of the day. You know, it might get worse before it gets better. But this is just yet another example of that. Like, if people paid attention to that sort of stuff, and you flocked your bread, or you flocked your 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 investment, or whatever, what you paid attention to, to people that didn't hate you, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you'd be surprised how much you could change. And all that shows, and being on, you know, uh, being in that position, all it shows is that if people went and paid attention to that, which is what the left does all the time. If, if folks that were more on the other side did that, they could change. And what that is, yet another example of the power in numbers that they have. They undermine their actual influence. Just because it doesn't come from uh, the, the usual channels doesn't mean it can't be of, of influence. I talked about that with Gina Carano. I was like, y'all have the chance when she does release, if the film is solid. No, I'm not saying I just support it just to do it. But if it is solid and y'all get behind that, Y'all have a chance to turn her into a freak, into the biggest actress in this in this country. You have a chance Facts. to do yep. that. Don't undermine the, the power that it is that that you have if, if you just go pay attention to where your where your dollar is going. And that's just yet another example of that. Where despite almost zero promotion, uh, despite there being uh, like not going through your usual channels, and you in the scene, so you already know the typical, uh, you know, trying to funnel your stuff to. <laughs> To, to 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 the talking heads and all of that you don't have you didn't do yeah. any of that yet you still got where it was that you are at that just goes to show how much power is indeed uh in these uh in these groups of individuals and i love it absolutely it, it, truth, bro. The, truth. The, the idea that twitter which is a space dominated by leftists we know this we have hard data that backs that up that it's very young excuse very uh female, female and yeah. hard liberal right that's what twitter is last two days we got we get let's go branded and number one on itunes uh fauci lied dogs died trends number one yes, arrest yes. fauci trends number one the next day like th- this is we are dominating their own space that, they hate by that. coming together like this yep. mm-hmm. yeah, and absolutely they, they drives them nuts and, and right now like we've got we've got 1700 people here if if, if every single person here goes and supports Bryson right now over on iTunes, you're going. That, that's going to speak volumes. You what keep, is it like a dollar twenty nine? So, yeah. So oh, not. Nah, uh, so mine's is ninety nine cents. Oh, so so the other cent. one, easy yeah, ninety nine cent. Ninety nine cent. And the number, the number, the number two one. Even though me and him ain't friends, he's 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 a dollar twenty nine. He's he's number two. Yeah. So there you go. So I mean, yeah. you know, go go out keep, there. Keep Adele down there. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly. Get Adele for getting healthy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Try to protect uh, yourself from COVID, and then uh, let's go Brandon comes along. <laughs>
Oh, man. Facts. <laughs> we got Jorge Barracuda for tits. Says, Let's go, uh, Brandon. Trump. Uh, Trump did well. I'll just say that. This is YouTube. I can't say. Uh, I can't mm. say what I would like to say. Let's be frank. What's up? Let's be frank. Let's be uh, frank. We, we love. Yes, let's be boy. frank. Yeah. Let's I, be frank. I, I got to give a shout out to Let's Be Frank. Actually, right before all the stuff blew up with you, uh, he's like, "Hey, you got to get Bryson on the show," and uh, we're like, well, this, "This worked out really perfect." Hell so. yeah, man. We I love, love Let's Be that's Frank. My, that's my man. Yeah, Let's Be Frank is great. Salty always shouting him out. Uh, so uh, he says, let's go, Brandon. Much love, Bryson. May God continue to guide you. So that's yes, from Let's sir, Be Frank. Yes, sir, always. So, yeah, we love Let's Be Frank, man. Thank you for everything. Keep fighting a good fight, my friend. Michael Pronesti, hearing Rippa yelling he hates Mario Kart gives me, <laughs> gives me warm feeling like Baby Park. Hi, Ryan, with a heart. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> We got to get Bryson on there to play some uh, some Mario Kart with us. Although I will say, Bryson, we cuss more than gangster rap in the fucking nineties on there, dude. It's bad. It is awful. Bro, bro, it's bad. Bro, my parents, my, I know. My parents too. I, I, I'm used to it. <laughs> it is uh, like it's it's awful. My goodness, Mario Kart but, uh, brings that out of you, man. It, it really. I don't does. curse on my music either, but shit, it, it's Mario Kart. You think I did? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I don't got to play that shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Retired. Uh, we got Culture Casino with a Midnight's Ed Edge Raid. Uh, love the Tuesday main event. Thank you, Culture Casino. Eric Bailey for 50. Thought I'd get some uh, some things started off. Uh, hail chat and hail Bryson. Alternative entertainment is our <laughs> counterculture, and it will change the world forever. Put your money where your fellowship is, and only real women make amazing sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go right so there. True. So true. There we go right there. Uh, and so, and there was a couple more I wanted to hit real quick, and then I'll get back to it. Uh, Fireball says, I have haven't really listened to any rap hip hop since 2000 ish, uh, but I found Bryson Gray yesterday. I've been showing him off to all of my co workers. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Fireball. Thank and, you. and Thank yeah. you. I mean, we talked about this uh, last week. We were talking about rap music, uh, you know, some of my favorite rappers from back in the day. I don't, I just can't, I haven't listened to current mainstream rap in, I mean, God, probably since back when Eminem had balls. That was a long time ago, though. Um, before I mean, Donald that was a, Trump took him before, away, before right? Do Donald Trump is the only <laughs> only person that's defeated Eminem. I'm going to continue <laughs> to say <laughs> that. <laughs> M beat everybody. Slayed everybody until Trump came in, okay? And then broke. Trump took him down. He broke Eminem. <laughs> I, I'm going to stand by that one. So, um, But, yeah, uh, you know, if you guys – have uh you know just been turned on to bryson gray and he's getting a lot of traction right now you know I, i've known of bryson for about a year now i think um and you know it's uh it's really cool to see how all this is is, is playing out what's the plan moving forward bryson right now are you just going to take it day by day you're going to kind of you have uh, any plans to try to you know kind of just keep pushing forward what's the plan right now same thing I always do, man. I uh, make music when I get the feeling to make it. I, I, I never, one thing I can't do is force music. Everybody keeps saying, Bryce, you need to drop another song now. I say, well, you start rushing music, bro, it's trash. So I rather, like, when, when, when it comes to me, it's going to come to me. Right now, I'm in Arizona. We, we performing. We doing interviews. I'm just taking it day by day, bro, like, I've always, like I always have. No Good. label. I do what I want. Good stuff. That's it. That's it. That's the right way to do it, man. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, like, I've seen... Like, we're talking about uh, Gina Carano, and it's like, this is another thing. Like, I've never been the biggest fan. I, I respect the Daily Wire. I've always respected them. Not the biggest fan, but I've always respected them. But then when they kind of did what they did with Gina Carano, I was like, okay, that's a, that's a big move. You know what I mean? And now what they're doing with, like, hiring, you know, ESPN reporters that are being canceled for not taking the jab. Regardless oh, yeah. if you, like, that's, that's the mentality I love. I, I don't have to like what they say. Like, I'm not a big fan of them per se, but now what they're doing, what they're creating, I think is crazy. I saw, like, you were retweeting Bryce, and you're like, oh, the Daily Wire's talking about me. Wasn't that you? That said, what, is it the Daily Wire you said that about? Exactly. And, yeah, that, yeah, that, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> bro, listen. Listen, man. Like, the stuff that's going on behind the scenes, like, it's so much that happens, bro. These people, like, it's, it's wild. Crazy. So it's it's almost crazy. It's like when they posted me, I was like, huh? I'm like, is this real? Yeah. They posted me. But I know, <laughs> I know, I know which groups don't really rock with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> because, because they can't control, they can't control what I say. You know what I'm saying? So, right. You know, but it, it was cool. Respect to them for posting it though. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's been on Fox News, uh, you know, and it just uh, it's funny. CNN hasn't hasn't covered it. The number one, have they? Um, <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, not look, there's more people watching this stream than CNN. OK, so it's not a big deal. So it's not like it's going to help you out. But <laughs> the point, fair, yeah. point sure. is, is, you know, the point is, is that uh, the fact that they won't you know, promote that. And, and the, fa and what we saw yesterday, I, I think I mentioned this to you, Bryson, before we went live, but you know, like YouTube tweeting that whole black voices thing out, black voices in music and you have to retweet. You're like, am I not a black voice? Like, yeah, I, I, I had a, I had a troll on you. You need <laughs> how that go. They always trying to uplift black voices. They only like black voices they can control them. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. True. Absolutely, absolutely. And chat, I see you. I know everybody wants to get Krista's take on politics. We want to keep the stream <laughs> up. If we let Krista loose, she's gonna get us banned. Okay. <laughs> she's that <actually laughs> right wing person on the stream. Uh, <laughs> you should have heard the shit she said to me when we were in Vegas and Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Krista, any any takes on the current situation, or are you just going to talk about Chick Fil A? Chick Fil A is the best. <laughs> all right, there, there you go. go. So like, that's that, that is such like all this fake stuff from Krista. The thing she says, she's Canadian, obviously. It's enough to make Trudeau blush in blackface. All right, like that, that's how far right Krista is. <laughs> uh, again, I, I'll never I'll never stop telling people. In uh, was it Vegas, Krista? Uh, no, no, Boston. In her in the in the uh, the safe in the hotel room, she had what would you have? Reese cups, Chick Fil A sauce, and her important documents. That's what she puts in the uh, the safe in her hotel room. Chick Fil A yes, sauce. Yes, the important things. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you gotta have that Chick Fil A sauce. I, I think we, I think we were at Chick Fil A last night. We bought two two of the big joints too. Well, she just nice. had she just had Chick Fil A for the first time ever, like like a few months ago. So yeah. What? Because they don't, because they don't have it in Montreal. No. So yep. yeah, and it changed they, they their life. Like, uh, they don't like Canadians. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's in Canada, just not in Montreal. Oh, oh, my bad. They, they have don't like Montrealians. Yeah. Guess not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so back to the discussion though, I did want to talk about uh, you know obviously it's the biggest topic right now in like the entertainment world, which is what we're always into, and that is a Dave Chappelle situation. You know, Dave Chappelle, um, you know, basically came out and said. You know, that the, the media was lying, that there was no request that he turned down for the transgender community or whatever. And he basically said, if you want to talk, I'll talk, but it's going to be on my terms. I'm not going to bend to anybody. I'm not going to, you know, do any of that stuff. And I think that's the attitude that, like, one thing about Chappelle, it is like, I probably, if me and Dave Chappelle sat down and talked about real world politics, we'd probably disagree on 90% of everything. But I love the dude, man, because he's so real. You know what I mean? Like, he, he's just honestly, he just knows what, what he believes in. And sometimes he has a take. I'm like, oh, my God. But, you know, but it's not even about that. It's just about the standing up to the, counter, the, the cancel culture. Because every time we see a celebrity come out there and apologize for a tweet from 20 years ago or 15 <laughs> years ago or whatever, every time we see somebody take responsibility and then tell everybody they have to take responsibility it just makes it it just makes it th those left-wing lunatics just become far more more motivated it's like the flood in halo you know the more they come at you you know the, the more yeah. you run the more they're gonna come at you you just got to stand there you know take it yeah. just take them down because the yeah. more it's you're just creating that mob mentality to keep coming for you and um but what's uh i know ryan you've You've covered Dave Chappelle a lot on your channel, so what's uh what's the latest? Is there anything else that's happened since? Well, I mean, I think the, you know, we were all kind of waiting to hear from him, and then in Nashville, actually, Yellow Flash was there in Nashville, and mm -hmm. he was watching that show when he made this announcement. But he basically sat down, he gave about a five minute spiel where he said, "Hey, listen, uh, activists, I hear you. How could I not hear you? The entire <laughs> mainstream media is." pumping it everywhere, all because a couple people, really a very <laughs> insignificant number of people were complaining about this. And that's true when you look at the protest numbers. Barely anybody was there, more media than actual protesters. And, uh, you know, he went on to talk a little bit about how it's affected it. All these companies that were talking about this documentary that he wanted to put out, all of a sudden pull out. Film festivals that had invited him rescind those invitations. So Dave Chappelle says he's going to do it his damn self which is awesome. He can absolutely do that. And he's going to go on tour to promote it. Uh, 10 cities, I think, throughout the month of November or something like that. He's actually going to Canada too, Krista. So there you go. You can see Dave <laughs> Chappelle. Um, and then he finished it off by saying, listen, I'm not going to bend to your will. 
Um, I'm willing to talk to you, but it's going to be at a place of my choosing, at a time of my choosing. You got to have watched my entire special. And uh, and also, unfunny person is extremely unfunny. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be then, honest. I'm gonna be honest. I, I didn't like Bill saying that part. Saying that, she's saying like, I'll sit down and talk to you. Talk to for what? Yeah, like, it's true. Why? It is true. What, what's the point? It, yeah, that's true. He doesn't owe him. That that is true. Like he doesn't owe him owe anybody a conversation. Like. Uh, uh, that is, you know, thinking about it from that perspective, I, I, you know, I certainly get it. This is the thing, like my thing about this whole thing that I at least appreciate from Dave is that, you know, we see all too often, like you were alluding to, you know, Jeremy, that when the counselors, because they're going to come from ev- for everybody, you know, it's just just wait your turn and they're going to come get you. What we see all too often and why this cancel culture became a thing is because they realized that it worked. So they could come for you for any reason. It could have been something you said years ago. Doesn't matter if you still hold those beliefs. It doesn't matter uh, what the times were, context. None of that matters. They'll come for you. And you can even say something in current day that is uh, only mildly offensive to whatever demographic. And um, they'll they'll try to basically get it to where you can't um, do things in the same capacity that you were doing before. Well, that worked. So you had a bunch of when they would come for these people, all these folks do these little apology tours and tours and all that. So these leftists started to figure out, well, this is a way that we can kind of whip people into shape and we can get people to do things that we want them to do. So once they came for Chappelle, Chappelle was like, nah, like I'm just this isn't happening. If people responded to that all the time, this wouldn't even be a thing that we just we just see these guys screaming into the abyss any other time. But you give them power by folding, you know, to what it is that they want you to do. Chappelle, this is why I said, like, it was it's not like he did anything particularly special. It was more he just said, no, like, no, like, I'm not. You want me to do something. And this is this is stupid. These art of not giving a fuck. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's what I call it. I said art of not giving a fuck. That's what it basically is what this is. And you're seeing the power in that. Yes. I'm not oblivious to the fact that, yeah, it fluctuates in terms of how you're going to be able to sustain that, depending on what position that you're you're in. Uh, Certain people that have become like self-sufficient, like myself, Bryson, are like, you can't cancel us because like I put out my own shit. Like, what what are you going to do? Like, you know, that's that's why that's why why I do what I do. uh, And I'm not beholden to someone else because it doesn't matter. Y'all come for me. What am I going to lose my job? I work for myself. You know what I mean? So this works out for me. And yeah, Dave Chappelle got a lot of FU money. You know what I mean? And he could, he's realizing, man, I, can, I don't have to depend on these other guys. I could put out the stuff myself. But that in itself is why, you know, that's why I appreciate from Gina Carano. At no point did she really apologize. You know what I mean? Hell, even Nicki Minaj with the whole recent thing. But give her credit. She didn't apologize. They came Not for it. They got all mad. Not once did Nicki Minaj say, I, I am I am sorry for it. But she didn't do it. She just then and then the mob went kind of went away, and now we're not talking about that anymore. Yep. That's what they do when you just show them that you don't care. But when you do show them they care, it's like they smell blood in the water, little piranhas. You know what I mean? So they're gonna come at you, and they're gonna come for everything it is that you uh, you got. But the more people that are in those positions that just simply say no more, I ain't doing this. The the, le- the le- less powerful they actually are, and that's that's why I appreciate of what's happening. It's not even about Dave himself; it's just the fact that there's a person in that position that just simply said no. That's all it takes. Just no. Yeah, it's that I, simple. I, I think Facts. that I, I think that the reason he specifically mentioned that is in part because these people claim that they reached out to him. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like they, they claim we we asked him to be here, and he's not. He had a chance to be part of this, but he turned us down. He didn't want to speak to us. He's like, bitch, you ain't talk to me. Like, you, you didn't fucking say anything to me. So I yeah. think that's why he's saying this now, to make it very clear that he'd be willing to talk to anybody because he doesn't feel bad about anything, you know? So I, I think that's kind of why he put that, with the with the knowledge that these people won't talk to him. They, Absolutely. they didn't want to talk to him. They didn't want to sure. work this out. They didn't want to come to an understanding. They want to be perpetual victims. They want to use this. It's not even about the special. It's about now catapulting themselves and getting more power in the Absolutely. entertainment industry it, and in Netflix. Did you see and their it, demand? It's happen. Did you add, did you see like that little group's demands? The half yeah. of the demands had nothing to do with the fucking special. Nothing. It's gonna be we want the same amount Facts. of money dedicated to promoting trans things that you have promoted to anti-trans things, which that's just uh, that's ridiculous in general. <laughs> yeah. But it, 
no one's going to watch that. Uh, but they <laughs> wanted, they wanted a trans board member. They wanted uh, an increase in trans talent and trans shows, like all these ridiculous things. Had nothing to do with it. Had nothing to do with the special. Nothing. No, it's nothing. all about activism and yep. it all about taking advantage of the situation and being perpetual victims to try to gain more equity because they already are equal footing. But that's not enough for them. Yeah, uh, that's yep. that's that's exactly where we are with it. And again, these people, I think, and I'm assuming at this point, speculating. Dave's a really smart guy. I think we all can understand that. He knows how to play the game. I would think that he knows that they're the type. These people aren't going to actually talk to him. They're just not. So he's just playing the Optus game. Like, you guys going to lie about me? Here's the deal. I'll talk to him, knowing they're never going to take him up on the offer, but he put the ball back in their court. But it's almost like the Gina thing where Gina said that D Lucasfilm and Disney wanted her to talk to 40 people at one time, 40, like, LGBT members at one time on a Zoom call. And she turned it down. She goes, no. <laughs> and, and and that is, that was, that there was no way it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one because these Struggle people can't session. talk. Yeah, you can't, they can't have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone that's going to call them out and check them on their bullshit. You know what I mean? They can't do it. So that's why it's like 40 people. Can you imagine that? That's, that's insanity. Yeah. Nobody, no, no, no clear thinking individual is going to take that offer. And so it, it's just, Huh, it's it's insane. Now, Bryson, how much longer you got? Because I know you're you're pressed for time to, to for. So, how much longer you got? I still, I, I still got like thirty minutes or something like Sweet. that, bro. If you want to yeah. like go, go to yeah. super or something, I'm with it. No, bro. yeah, man. It. All right, yeah. good deal, man. And uh, yeah, so and again, you're welcome back anytime, man. Um, you know, course, anytime I'm you want to come bro. back on, we yeah. got to get you on some video games. I know you don't play Mario Kart, but you you go. <laughs> We're gonna have to make Jeremy's that gonna buy you, Jeremy's gonna buy you a switch and get you on Mario Kart. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! Because Jeremy I, needs someone else to beat because he's getting so bad at that game. I, I, I'll rock out with y'all. I'm naturally good at games though. Like, like I want to be able to like pick up any game. And I'm like at least decent at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's like Ripa. Ripa's never been a Mario Kart guy until he started playing, and then he's like, "No, I'm gonna practice and get. I'm gonna beat Jeremy." Just and now he's like. And now I'm like, I done created a monster now, dude, because Rip is good now. I don't even invite him to Monday Night Premium no more. I'm like, no, nah, it ain't, ain't worth it no more. It used to make sense when I could brag about beating young Ripa every every Tuesday. Now I can't beat him. I'm like, all right, screw this guy. You want to so, know how sad it is? Listen, Bryson, this guy has gotten so caught up in this Mario Kart garbage on his honeymoon. On his honeymoon. We, we had no expectation of him coming up. He's on his damn honeymoon Rip. at a random hotel i don't know where at florida hawaii where the hell you went and this motherfucker comes on comes on stream with his stupid phone and is switching handheld mode he's like i'm ready to play i'm ready to play I was like just that. laying in the bed looking at him like what the hell are you doing nah, man, that's fake news that's fake news <laughs> that's fake news I did play on Audible, but it was actually halfway her idea. You always add shit to the store. Always add shit Listen, to the I was story, I was I was out of town. And so we were already limited that I was like, man, I'm not gonna be there. Ripa's not gonna be there. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I turned on and there's Ripa like on a grainy like razor flip phone is what it looked like it was little white head i was like what this is this dude doing man. like even I, even I don't bring my switch on the road what yeah. are you doing Rip? That's, that's, that's what hers. i realized my, my switch is right here it was hers it was hers it was her switch that's when i realized we need an intervention i see rip there like tying tying a freaking banner on <laughs> oh, my mario Kart. Bro. <laughs> Bro, I bought an entire I bought an entire gaming PC to travel with in a uh, monitor. <laughs> Heck like, yeah. Not, no, not the like laptop it. bull crap. No, no, no. Yeah. I said I'm doing this. And I'm only getting Airbnb so I can get some stable Wi-Fi. <laughs> there, there you go. Nice. That's dedication right there. I respect that. Uh, <laughs> all right, we got Biggles Mets. Jeremy is lame. Sup Ripa, Ryan, Krista, and welcome Bryson. Will we ever get a Ripa Bryson collab? Oh, I'm with it. Yeah. Hey, I heard. Yeah. I listen to your album. If I do a song, if I do a song, him, we gotta be like spitting bars. He yeah. can rap, rap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's uh, do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chat, yeah, yes yeah. or no? You want to see a Bryson Ripa collaboration? Um, and again, mods. I know you're dropping links to, you know, all of Bryson stuff. So you know, guys, be on the lookout for all the links from the mods. They're dropping links to you know Bryson's YouTube channel. Which when are you gonna be able to post on that again? I think they said uh, Thursday I'll be able to post again. It's, it's just yeah, insane, man. But it, this... it, the, the, the craziest thing, I don't even know if we talked about it. Like, it got hit for medical misinformation. 
Mm-hmm. And if you listen to that, because I know you guys are all going to iTunes, you're all buying it, you're all going to listen to it. The, the only thing that you can even come close to categorizing as that. Don't say is, it. Yeah, I'm, I ain't going to say it, but I'm going to say it's the thing that the president said, yeah. that oh. President Joe Biden said, right? That That's what... The, that's what you could really deem as misinformation mm-hmm. is the words Facts. that Biden said about the jab six months ago, back yeah. when they were selling us a bill of goods that turned out to be completely false. So yep. I, they, I want to know why those videos are still up on the White House YouTube channel. CBC they know they, they know that's a stretch. They know listen to this song, Sound of Middle Information, bro. I listen to it eight times like, come on, bro. That's the biggest <laughs> stretch. And then in all, in, in all the other Let's Go Brandon songs, they might not went into – Yep, like I did, but they were basically saying the same type of stuff I was saying, and no, nobody else got banned. I'm like, yeah, for sure. Come on, bro. It's, 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 it's so ridiculous, man. I mean, it's just, um, you know, like I mean, I've talked about it, like my my personal channel, you know, where I was really talking a lot of politics, and then the, you know, the, the November of last year happened, and, and then YouTube started really clamping down on anybody having an opinion that didn't, you know, it wasn't, you know, seeing it, yeah. Yeah, like just could not could not talk about anything, and uh, I even had videos taken down. Um, and, and you know, you start work, you know, like yeah, like I know Ripa, you've a back to back champion. You always brag you know about the back to back champion. So, <laughs> so it's just you like scared of me. Yeah, like I I think uh, I ended up uh, having I think seven videos that I ultimately removed based on like after they took down uh, two I think. I was like, well, let me just, I'm just going to take down the rest that are directly with in line with this. And it's not, it wasn't necessarily the November deal. It was just something else, but it's just like, man, you know, I, I don't know how they can continue to get away with it, but uh, to, to kind of segue into something else, I don't know if you guys heard much about this or if you're familiar with this. I know Ripa, I don't think you're on either one of these platforms, but like Rumble purchased mm. locals today. Now, yeah. Locals is something that, you know, we have the biggest gaming community on Locals, and we don't even do anything over there. We got, I've got to get better about maximizing Locals. Now, Dave Rubin and his team reached out to us, what, about a year? Was it a year ago? Maybe eight uh, months ago? Eight, eight months, months ago? Eight and nine months ago. Yeah, they like reached out to us. They worked with us. They've, they've been over backwards for us. The, the customer service through the roof. I mean, they were just like, whatever we needed, whatever – we needed they were willing to do um fantastic uh you know experience we've had with locals and you know just mainly like i told them i told them when we did this like i've already got a subscription kind of deal on my website that's kind of my version of patreon so it's hard to push my audience there when i've already got them going to the website but ultimately locals is a, a a great platform you know it's a patreon alternative but also almost like a facebook group you know, mixture is, is what Locals is, but there's no censorship over there. But now Rumble, a platform I have a D-Day Cobra channel on that I've maybe posted three videos. I don't really know how the hell Rumble works at this point still. It's confusing as hell. I made like 26 cents off a video that made 15,000 views. I, I I don't understand that. But uh, Bryson, you're on Rumble, correct? He was on oh, yeah. the front page. They put yeah. him on the front page of it. So that was Chandler's Crump profile. Uh, the oh. so so where you can see my video at. I don't know if I know what band dot video is. Well, you oh, should. oh yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, we know, we know. <laughs> so so b- before that, before the Let's Go Brandon video got banned on uh, YouTube, because I, I think I, had, I just got banned on some. I get banned on something every week. And so <laughs> they 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 talked they talked talk and was like, you know what? We'll give Bryson a a, a band dot video account. So I upload, I started uploading my stuff on there, bro. Thank thank God I did that because I mean obviously they gave me two strikes in one day. What what is it on YouTube? Three strikes you out. Three three yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so you're what? one, you're one away. You're, you're one away there. Yeah, yeah you're well, one away. Depends. What did they count the first one as a warning? Because usually they count the first one that you get as a warning. I, I saw no. that I saw that post and it was two strikes. I think yeah, that screenshot. It, 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 it was, was two going. strikes. Okay. And then. You know, they were so gracious. You know, they, they, you know, our moms and daddies at YouTube, they said, uh, they banned my live stream too and was like, we're not going to give you a strike for this one since we already gave you two today. So we're going to let this one slide, you know, but we did remove it though. I'm like, oh, so gracious. Thank you so kind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very kind of them. <laughs> That's insane. Right. I mean, you know, it, it's, uh, yeah, like we've dealt with uh, strikes or. So, the fuck Naughty Dog, by the way, just so we can get that out of the way. We've had the whole Naughty Dog yeah. situation happen where they were striking uh, this channel. They gave Ryan two strikes. They gave a lot of other creators strikes simply for talking about 
the leaks of Big Abby, Abby Pump, uh, the uh, Scott Steiner looking woman <clears throat> that was in The Last of Us Part Two when that leaked. We didn't, we just <laughs> talked about it. It's all we did is talked about it. And they struck us. They struck this channel. They struck Gaming with Geeks. And they gave Ryan two strikes. And to Ryan's credit, Ryan was like, I am just going to keep uploading. <laughs> and I, now, now, because we felt yeah. very confident that once we challenged it and, and the, the process went through, because there literally was nothing they had on us. It was absolutely insane that they were striking us for what they deemed leaking copyrighted material. We were just talking about it. You, you, that, that's all we were doing. I mean, I think Ryan showed a still image that was on a website, but it's not like we were the ones leaking the information. We were talking yeah, yeah. about this from other big sites. And so, yeah, Ryan had two strikes. Other channels I know have had two strikes. Magically, they all get lifted, but that was some of the best growth we've ever had. So thank you, mm -hmm. Naughty Dog. Um, Strides and effect for sure. But exactly. the thing is, that's copyright, which is a different story, and that's a different part of YouTube that's that completely is fucked up. Right. Uh, like, the people can abuse the DMCA system, but the community guideline stuff is YouTube hitting it. And when there's no communication, there, there's nothing, there's no reasoning, they can't tell you why they put this down. They just, they just did it. That is the, that is really garbage. At yeah. least I can understand the copyright stuff is just a bad system that they have. But when they're intentionally taking down videos and leaving others up, when they're taking down my Patriot outpost video about Joe Rogan wrecking Sanjay Gupta's scrawny ass yet, the same conversations they had are up on CNN's YouTube channel. Like that, yep. that is the bullshit. Yeah. And that, that's the part. Yeah, that's what has up. to happen is, which I think they finally did to mine, like you have to fight it enough to where shit starts to change. And then they'll like basically flag your account to where you could talk about whatever the fuck you want, which I think is what, what they did with mine and what they have with CNN. Because yeah, that in itself is, is an example of how much this is bullshit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they get to talk about whatever the fuck they want to talk about. And then you talk about the literal same thing and you get a strike for it. Nah. So I think that's what they did with mine. Cause I was raising hell obviously after they gave me my two uh, strikes, we ended up getting, they, they, they made a mistake. Uh, they removed it. And since then I've been saying more foul shit. Hell after that. <laughs> and what I said went with the initial strikes. So I feel unstoppable. Uh, and, <laughs> you know what I mean? so, but no, I think that's what has to happen. Like they, like they have people's accounts that they are allowed to talk about it, flag to where they won't get that medical misinformation bullshit um, on, which is which is stupid because yeah. the, the process is so garbage because they're not they don't tell you what specifically it was. They'll just it's just it's just vague. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's just so silly, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I said, I said, which lyric? Give me, give me the bar. Which bar? Yeah. And they, they didn't respond. Like I exactly. tried to appeal it. They rejected my appeal within three minutes. I'm like, you didn't even rewatch yeah, yeah, the, the video. Yeah. That's them saying that. that that's them <clears throat> like they 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 went out of their way to do that. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. they knew you were gonna do it. They just wanted to have the process out the way. And that's fucking bullshit, man. That's such BS, man. <sighs> Goodness gracious! Did you guys see that? Uh, I think Libs of TikTok tweeted out that school board meeting where they did the Let's Go Brandon. Did you guys see that one? Yeah, I did. I probably yeah. did. Oh, let like me see. Though, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, I know. Whenever it, you speak at these school board meetings, they make you like write down your name on a little slip, and they call I'm gonna play order it. Is gonna be. Yeah, here it is, right here. I got it. So let me uh, let me pause this, and then we will share. Boom, boom, and this is great right here, man. This is good stuff. Good stuff. Next speaker, Ms. Lap, Miss Lap. Followed by Rusty Miller and Let's Go Brandon. <laughs> That's nice. It's a joke anyway, so they deserve all the troll they get. Oh, Max. it's so good. It's so good, man. The, like the, the fact that so many of these videos are, are up on iTunes, the fact that anywhere you go, school board meeting, airport, grocery store, college frat party, college football game, professional sports game. Boston Red Sox post game, like it's all over the country across all kind of demographics. It just tells you it's two things. The reason let's go Brandon blew up is because people fucking hate Joe Biden. Yeah. But two, the media tries to manipulate everything you see. And yeah. what happened in that scenario where people were expressing how much they hate Joe Biden and the media literally tried to tell you that you shouldn't believe what your ears are hearing. You shouldn't believe what your eyes see. We know what's best. We know what's right. This thing ain't slowing down. Not yep. at all. Facts. Not at all.
Yeah, I mean, uh, and I, I got a 50 from Jay Schwalbach who says, two black guys and a Canadian on the show. How am I going to tell my children that Jeremy is a racist? Uh, this doesn't fit the narrative. At least uh, everyone knows Ryan hates women. At least some balance. Great meeting you guys in Vegas Friday night tights. Yes, uh, thank you for Hell the support. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I've uh, there's no tell of what the, the, the narrative will be um, in terms of that. They don't – nobody that – People that criticize me don't don't actually they don't pay attention to anything. Did you guys see the email I shared earlier? I know Ryan. Oh my yeah. gosh! Oh my god! I have it up right now. I, I got it. it. I got it. Uh, so right here. Hang on. I actually shared audio. Let me. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna not share audio just so it doesn't give me the feedback. But uh, this is crazy. Like I am very honored that this email was sent to me. I'm gonna try to read it. I'm gonna I'm try. I'm so upset by this, man. <sighs> Here we go. So, Jeremy Griggs, one question since you are full of shit. Don't know about politics, especially who isn't a far right or right wing, yet defends both the governor and president well former. Why defend Rob DeSantis, <laughs> who is nothing but weak and lets his people died of covid now or no wonder why you haven't died of covid and go on a war against big tech and you spread fear hatred anti-biden and pro-trump such pathetic excuse of a grown-ass man no wonder why you are a shadow and can't let go of not being a trump supporter and calling democrats racist oh please the pathetic nonsense from some grown-ass man speaking of a teenager voice why not have those be censored especially geeks and gamers glad i can convince some to leave you aren't the voice of reason or trying to speak the truth do you have any blacks at g and g or people uh, or poc gays lesbian trans pansexual queers etc that works with trump geeks and gamer site that is garbage and let's go brandon won't go on it will die down Go home and died Trump supporter. The real conservatives don't need some rednecks or N words. Trigger him, gender, ginger. Ryan is shit, which is the best the part fuck? of it all. That's the best the part fuck? of it all. That's the oh, best man. part. These, these guys are fucking insane, man. Also, you are never right. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is this has been bothering me all. Uh, ever since you fucking shared it, it's been bothering me. All right, this is the most offended I've ever been on the internet. To be honest with you, like if you're gonna bring me up, fucking bring me up. If you're not gonna really talk, don't fucking bring me up. Just Ryan is shit as a footnote. That's bullshit right there. Fuck this guy. Oh, that's the best, man. Oh my god, Ryan is shit. People are insane, dude. It, it's, yeah, my, it, I, I, I've gotten a few of those, and every now and then I'll like kind of entertain them for the sake of content, uh, <sighs> me, emails, uh, haters. But these mother, these, these dudes are weird, man. <laughs> my, my, <laughs> my Instagram DMs with yeah. LeBron sexual, bronze sexual. Yeah, that's yeah. the worst one. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, Instagram and people that are LeBron fans, they do not like our sports wars videos. They really don't. So, Bryson, we have a sports channel called Sports Wars, and we typically go off on NBA and their virtue signaling and their ratings disasters. And we trash LeBron pretty often because it's fun. Um, man, Bron fans come at us on Instagram like crazy. Like, I had to mute notifications on, on Instagram because it was getting so bad. And it's not that it was a problem. Like, it's just like I can't keep reading these crazy crazy people crying because i got other things to do um but yeah man lebron fans are, are, are something else by the way enos Cantor has been trying to contact you lebron i'm not sure if you're aware of that but uh you know <laughs> might want to check the notifications there lebron uh <laughs> that is so just put funny. out a video actually about that did That's you did you? Yeah. yeah it's probably uh, alive yeah it's so it's so funny to watch watch them eat each other alive uh, as as said the other day woke on woke crime um we have Miss Anthropic One for a 20. What's up, Miss Anthropic yeah. One? Love Miss Anthropic One. Hey, uh, holla, brothers. Shout out to my brother Bryson. Much love to Eric July for nuking the SJWs as well. Love y'all. Uh, right on, man. Um, mega supporter of the channel and been a supporter for a long time. Um, so what's the... Uh, now, uh, I'm going to make a quick announcement. So, so you live in Arizona, Bryson, correct? No, no, no you don't. Just there right now. Oh, you're there. I, yeah, yeah, You've been there. Show. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I was born and raised in High Point, North Carolina, but I moved to uh, Tennessee because North Carolina was going blue. 
Okay. So I just, I just got up and left. And okay. I'm in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee now. Murfreesboro. Nice. I did a tournament there. It was the kit tournament. You know, KIT tournament. They do like fighting games and stuff like that. It was uh, this was several years ago, but they do like a bunch of fighting games like Marvel vs. Capcom and Tekken and all that. And actually, we had a Mario Kart tournament um, that we hosted for them at Geeks and Gamers. This is before the channel got big and everything like that. I don't know if they still do those. This was this is probably like 2014. You know, when we oh, did snap. that. So yeah, it was a long time ago, but it was uh, it was pretty fun. So, but the reason I asked, I know you said you're in Arizona. I didn't know if you said you you were, you were from there or not, but I'm gonna be in Arizona, uh, November fourth at the End Game Bar. Uh, Gary from Nerdrotic will be with me, and we'll probably have some more people with us. But uh, Krista, if you have a link to that article on GeeksGamers.com, uh, I'll have all the details there. November fourth. Keep an eye on that article. Um, the, the time isn't seem, is not like cemented yet. So right now I've got cemented. it. Se- yeah, whatever. Uh, Arn Giganton. But um, <laughs> uh, so once I get that uh, figured out for sure, once I get confirmation on that, but right now I've got it set for about 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific. So when I get all that figured out, but keep an eye on that article. Any updates to that meetup will be on that article on geeksgamers.com. So we'll have more details on Friday Night Tights this week. So myself and Gary will definitely be there, and we're going to do a meetup at the End Game Bar. Looking forward to it. Owners are really cool, and uh, looking forward to seeing all of you out there. So uh, more details to come. Chris has dropped that link in there. So um, <clears throat> Bryson, just jump in whenever you got to bounce, interrupt, or whatever. So just tell me. Just jump in. So I don't, I don't want to keep it. What time is it? Uh, it's, I, got like, uh, it's, I, got, I got I got like five minutes. I got like, I got like five minutes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, yes, sir, yes, sir. So let's see. Mugsican says first time ever. Ryan's volume is too low. Smash the like. That was earlier on the stream. So that is the first <laughs> time ever. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't often get asked to speak up. Jeremy can attest to. Well, Eric probably can too. I was pretty damn loud at the restaurant. <laughs> oh, God. He is so loud. He's obnoxiously loud, isn't he, Rippa? Like, it's obnoxiously loud. Like, it's just like, <laughs> dude, there's kids. Stop dropping F-bombs, bro. There's <laughs> kids over there. Oh, he doesn't care. Uh. He doesn't care. <laughs> we do as have... Michael Jordan, as Michael Jordan said, fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Good. Well, I do have somebody that's louder than Ryan, and he played Mario Kart with us once. We're going to get you, asshole. Just know that. <laughs> Fuck them! Fuck them! Sick of their shit! I don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> I, hey, yo, I'll get. Hey, listen. If we ever get this thing, or if we ever go on in for wars or whatever, I'll get into a screaming match with Alex Jones. We'll scream as loud as we can. Hey, we'll have a lot, like one of those decibel sensors there. We'll do it. We'll see what happens. Hey, whenever I love I, Alex Jones, man. Dude, uh, he's oh, the yeah. best. I'm gonna get him back on Geeks and Gamers at some point. You know, um, again, we had him on Friday Night Tights. Uh, had the option to bring these gamers. It was like, let's do Friday Night Tights, bigger, bigger audience. And, and now, like, we'll bring it back. We've got to give it some time, though. Alex Jones appearances, that brings the heat, man. And I love the heat, but we got we to, gotta, you know, we got to think about when we're going to do that next. It's got to be a special occasion. So Claudio uh, says, uh, you think Joe Rogan's stand-up is funny? I don't. Um, honestly, I'll be honest, I have never sat through a Joe Rogan stand-up. I love Joe Rogan's takes and like listening to his show. I've never listened to his stand-up. Um, so I, I can't, I can't really answer that question. Yeah. So yeah, I like it's, it's not as good as Dave Chappelle's, but I, I like listening to him. He's got some good takes. Uh, he's got some funny bits for sure. Yeah. He's been I, doing it a long ass time. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it, it's not something I'm, you know, interested in from that perspective, but I'm, I'm happy that, you know, he's doing his thing. Cause Joe Rogan's a, a powerful voice right now in, in, in everything going on and it drives CNN crazy. Drives them crazy. Drives all the mainstream crazy. Even drives Howard Stern crazy. Imagine, imagine a world where Howard Stern's offended because someone else is so much rele- more relevant than him. It's, that's how pathetic we've gotten to these left wing people. Howard Stern is offended over somebody else. What? Wow. How did that happen? How did how did we get here? Uh, well, we kind of explained that earlier about how the culture has been lost by alienating, you know, groups of people and. Uh, just like Ryan always bitching about Nintendo fans. That doesn't help Geeks and Gamers, but he keeps doing it. So um, <laughs> I, 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 it's, That's a loss I'm willing to accept. 
Oh, after they uh, after they try to ratio me for my Smash Bros video, <laughs> you have never gotten ago. over that. You've never gotten over that one. <laughs> no, I'll never I'll never get over being right and have other people say I'm wrong. So no, that's not something I get over. Uh, Samurai Vader Sunday's Mario Kart was fun. Uche's comment was hilarious. I don't care what Uche says. He did not know that name. He did not know it. So somebody what? came into somebody came into the game. Okay. And I'm not going to tell you his name yet, but this is what's funny about it. So the guy was in the, he had a, he had a, a name, a kind of a, a, a gimmick name. And he was, he was messing around with, so, with uh, Uche, he hit Uche with a banana or a shell or something. And Uche's like, damn it, this guy, Mo Lester, why the hell are you doing this? And we were like, do you not know what you just said? And he's like, oh, I knew, I knew. I was like, no, you didn't. Do you remember that, Rippa? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. He that didn't a, know. I don't care what he said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't know. Best in the world. <laughs> Plenty against the best in the world, He man. did not know. I don't care what he said. Uh, Michael Prodesti, that mumbling fool Trudeau is the leader of my country with a, a crying emoji. Hi, Ryan, with a heart emoji. Um, oh, Michael. Kaiser Rev says, can't cancel God. America first is inevitable. Hashtag C. So Hell true. Yeah. So true. Heck yeah. Yeah. Now it's been awesome having Bryce in here. It really has. And like I said, mods, make sure you're dropping links. We want to, to keep that thing at number one as long as we can and, and you know keep spreading the good word because we need people out there that are, you know, speaking their minds. And you know, like one thing, and again, I just it's this is normal for for normal people. So when I repeat this, it's not because I'm surprised by it. It's because it needs to be pushed forward. When I Bryson didn't know a ton about us, he knows of us. He's known of us for a while, but he didn't go like, "What are you guys' opinions before I come on your channel?" <laughs> it's just you know, like because that, and that's a normal person. Normal people don't. Qual what are you guys' opinions on things before I come? Like that's not normal. You know what I mean? So, you know, we don't have to worry about people saying they're not affiliated with this or something like that. You know, like, it's just weird, you know what I mean, a a that we've gotten to that point where so many people have to figure things out. Because we live in a world where people are like, oh, like, I saw Star Wars Theory messaged me last night, and he was telling me about he did a reaction on his channel, some guy just trashing me and him, and, and he did a reaction over on Theory's Arcade. And so I went and watched it, and, and their whole premise was that it was dangerous that Star Wars Theory has such a platform, yet he's willing to associate with geeks and gamers, and geeks and gamers makes dangerous videos, and now Star Wars Theory has opened his three million subscribers up to geeks and gamers, and now all of these innocent Star Wars fans are going to hear Jeremy's rhetoric, and it's like, what are you scared of? Why are you so scared of different opinions? Like. Bro, I get the same thing because I um I don't know if y'all know who Nick Fuentes is, but uh oh yeah, Nick Fuentes, oh, yeah. Nick, Fuentes, Nick Fuentes is my boy, and every time I get in any situation, that's like people go to when I like say something or beat them in logic, they be like, "You're friends of Nick Fuentes." Blah, blah, blah. I said, "Hey, I said you can say what you want." Me, me and Nick Fuentes, we rode through the hood. I had a mega bucket hat on. We was in the hood of Chicago, late night, riding through with the drop top. You feel me, Nick, my boy? <laughs> and don't you think like? Don't you think that the simple fact that they're like, well, you're friends with Nick Fuentes, doesn't that immediately nullify everything they say about him? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, exactly. Yeah, like, exactly. It's crazy. Like, like, I tell, I tell, like, people get so angry, like, because I, I, I don't know if I told y'all, but Nick started a streaming platform, Cozy.tv. And a few people were like, beaming me, like, why are you on his platform? I said, well, the most inclusive platform banned me, right? <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> and, I, and, and, and I was like, the person you claim is this big racist, he just gave me uh, an account on the platform. So, I mean, hey, you, you choose your side, I'm going to choose mine on this. Absolutely. Thing, Absolutely. And, you know, that's, that's where we are with it. Where, again, I just... What do you want people to do? Like, you know, that take about like uh, you opened your audience up to this person I disagree with. And it's like, what do you, why are you worried about it? If you have trust in the audience, then you shouldn't really have to worry about it. Like I live, I, my perfect world means everybody's voice is equal. And, and then the, and then people, individuals get to decide who they want to support. But when you start trying to say that person's language or their beliefs are dangerous and we can't let them be heard, you're essentially saying that you're intimidated by that. That that's what it comes down to. I'm not worried about anybody. Say so you, if you support Joe Biden, okay, God bless you. You're gonna need you're gonna need the help. 
you know, God, but like, that's fine. You can you can vote for whoever you want to. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I'm I don't even say I won't even say I'm independent. I'm just me. You know what I mean? I just I go I, I, I'm a Trump supporter. That's what I am. I'm a Trump is what I keep saying. That's who I am. And so I don't affiliate with any I, you know, party or anything like that. I just I I, I, I support I would rather have Obama than George Bush. OK, like I hated George Bush. I hated George Bush. I passionately hated that motherfucker. OK, and that's just me, though. But I'm not intimidated by other opinions and no one else here is and nobody that I I'm connected to is. And, and that's where like the media has made people think that you can't be connected to others to have different opinions and they're they're controlling that narrative and they're getting it at a young age with these kids with the influence of video games and all that and that's kind of the points we were touching on earlier so i think that's the the goal we're trying to get is that conservatives stop alienating people that can help your movement yeah. um, well, and that, that that's why we're gonna win eventually jeremy rip was right rip is always talking about his white pill as much as rip a bitch is about shit he is pretty damn white pilled and uh the reason that we will win is because they can't coexist. Like it's always like one thing, one little thing you step out of line. Oh, you say something about gender, that gender is a fact. You're JK Rowling. You're this woke lunatic. Well, you said that you can't be part of our club anymore. So slowly, but surely they whittle everybody out until there's no one actually left. And you know, the people that the people that get shocked in that mindset, even though they might not agree with us or whatever, they realize like how, toxic that shit really is when i use the word toxic i'm actually being literal like that is not a good way to be in society what we're seeing with the cancel culture lunacy right now hard to use the word toxic unironically in 2021 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hard one right there all right bryce well, i know uh, you, you need to bounce so all right tell us uh, tell everybody where they can find you where they can go support you um you know our audience is is pretty receptive to that so hopefully we can get you some some you know a few new eyes over there so Tell them where you can find where you be found. Mods, make sure you're dropping links, and the floor is yours, my friend. Uh, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, just type in Bryson Gray. I should come up, let some shadow ban, which is usually how it works, but I'm probably going to be banned on all of those soon. So follow me at cozy.tv slash Bryson Gray. And, uh, oh, band.video. I'm pretty sure I won't get banned from those two platforms. <laughs> so, 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 you know, <laughs> those, are, those are my safe spaces. You know, you need them safe spaces nowadays. Right on, man. Right on. Now, uh, we're going to have to get you on for some video games soon. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm always so, down. So we're going to, we're going yes, to make that happen. So, um, but uh, yeah, man. So thank you so much. Uh, and if you need anything from us, man, you let us know. Um, you always got a, you always got a spot here. Anytime you want to come on and talk, if you got anything going on, we got your back, man. So, all right. Thank you. But if y'all ever want me on, just holla at me. Uh, God bless y'all, man. All right, man. Take Later, it easy. Man. Have a good all one. Right. Have a good one. All right. All right, so that was Bryson Gray, uh, number one on iTunes right now. Uh, and I think he's on Odyssey, too. Did he mention Odyssey? I don't know if he mentioned Odyssey, but uh, I think he's on Odyssey, too. But everybody, the, the chat's dropping links, so you guys can obviously find him. I really like Odyssey a lot. I know Ripa's, you know, Ripa's, Ripa's been saying Odyssey's the, the place for a while. Yep. And, and it's mainly because Odyssey's what YouTube was in the early days, where it's like, okay, well, if you need to... You need to fix, you know, if you need to figure out how to fix something on your truck, you know, like hopefully you can go find mm -hmm. that. If there's a video game, something like it's not right wing dominated. Right. Like yeah. a lot of these how to make platforms a peanut butter so. sandwich. Dumb yeah. shit like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it, it's, uh, you know, it, it's um, really hopeful that I, I'm hopeful for Odyssey. You know, we got geese and gamers. Ryan's over there. Sports Wars is over there. D-Day Cobra's over there. Rip is over there. And uh, is Salty still the biggest subscribe channel over there i think he is like salty's Probably. channel is huge dude yeah. so uh loving loving the fact that salty's killing it so much yeah, um, and the best thing for us about odyssey is it's easy like the, the fact that they're as a content creator if you're a creator wondering where, where you should go like the fact that you can just immediately mirror your uploads there and it works unlike bit shoot um is awesome yeah and now rumble i'm still uploading a bunch of stuff on rumble i haven't gained any fucking traction <laughs> <laughs> uh, big waste of my fucking time, but I'm doing it. So, <laughs> I mean, Rumble like is weird, man. I had that one video that did really well on Rumble, but I haven't really posted back. But with this whole locals, you know, thing, I, I'm you know, 
We need to we need to pick up the pace uh, over there on Rumble. So we're gonna see. Um, all right. So let me let's see. Austin says if Trump doesn't use Bryson's music at his rallies and campaigns uh, stops when he runs for twenty twenty four, he deserves to lose. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Judicon, member, uh, Judicon, member for 27 months. Hail Jeremy and crew. Welcome, Bryson. Uh, hashtag let's go, Brandon. Um, oh, yeah. Austin again says, Trump is your president is my favorite greatest song. Um, <laughs> it's baked Alaska. <laughs> Trump uh, is uh, your president. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Italian Stallion. Ryan looks like a DL bottom. A down low bottom is that what it means? I guess that's what that means. I don't know. Thanks, Italian style. Appreciate <laughs> it. Sheaf Burger has says, "How about those Knicks? How about the Knicks? What's going on with the Knicks?" Um, I don't know. I saw Julius Randle had a big opening game that first night. Okay. Uh, I haven't really been following Knicks. My Bulls, however, have been awesome. They started three zero. First time since the 96 97 season that the Chicago Bulls are the last remaining undefeated team in the East. That was a good year for the Chicago Bulls. That was a pretty Bulls, decent year. Right. That was a pretty I think decent that was a good year. year for them. Yeah, that's when yeah. John Paxson led them, right? Or was it Steve Kerr? No. It's, well, it was not John Paxson, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Kerr was on that team, yes. <laughs> Lulu Blue for $5 super sticker. Thank you, Lulu. William Smith, no such thing as left or right. The left is whatever tyrants need to be. The right is whatever isn't left. It's good versus evil. I mean, I think that's fairly, you know, like that's a that's an understandable take for sure. Danny says so, Bryson. So has, much shit. Oh. So much shit comes down to definitions and like the whole left versus right thing. And I'm sure, like Ripa gets that too. I've always thought of it as like authoritarian right wing people are the same as authoritarian left wing people. Like it, it, it's like it's different the way it's like done, but I always see it kind of as a circle. And the like right here, you've got kind of anarchy. I think you know Rip is down with, and then down at the bottom you've got complete totalitarianism, and then you've got like the left and the right in different segments of it. But that's kind of always how I looked at it. Yeah, well, I look at it like I mean it just depends on obviously who you ask. But my thing is is that if your political spectrum, because I use that you know I use that term and I use it, but I'm I'm well easily able to define what it is that I'm using. Uh, but you know, for example, if you have a a person that I don't know. Let's say that they say that fascism is on the opposite side of like, you know, which is the usual U.S. traditional uh, political spectrum. It has like communism on the left and fascism on the right. That right. is a useless fucking uh, political spectrum. If that's your political spectrum, that's ahistorical as well, uh, considering the what, what fascism actually is um, and where it stems from. Uh, but it's often used like that. And uh, yeah, like I say all the time, it's 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 like it, it's a useless one. I would put both of those on the same exact fucking side. Uh, but yeah, it depends on who you ask. And this is why I'm always, you know, when I have my debates about this stuff, like with people on streams, I always tell them to define the terms. Always, always, because it's useless if we operate on two completely different spectrums and whatnot. So when you've got a great video from a couple years ago about, about why uh, why the bad guys in World War II were leftists. Yeah, if I yeah. remember right, it's one of my so. favorite one of my favorite videos I've ever done. It was almost forty minutes, so go check that out. Hell yeah! Um, Danny says Bryson has the number one track on iTunes. Uh, MAGA boys, let uh, let's see, let's go, Brandon. F Joe Biden. R I P to King Face. Miss him so much. Um, thank you so much, Danny. And yeah, I mean, it is, it's really cool, man, that, you know, that so much momentum has picked up and it's, it's, it's only going to get more, it's only going to get better for Bryson and, and others that are willing to speak out against it. Cause there's a lot of support out there. Uh, Jay says member for two months, hail geeks and gamers and young Ripa and Bryson. Thank you. Wolverine snick uh for a is a new member thank you for that thank you for coming a new member krista you probably have enough room for new emojis now yes i'm excited yeah that's all, so. she, that's all she cares God. about thanks guys it is that's all like when it's she made a good thing to get her creative <laughs> it's an amazing thing what are you talking about <laughs> that's the only <laughs> thing she cared about when making twitch partners she's like i get to unlock more emojis yep <laughs> so that's, that's the only reason i want to become partners <laughs> <laughs> and she did go follow her. Are you going live tonight? Yes. You yeah. are? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Unlike last week, she's actually going to do it, even if you got to leave early. All right? So what are you playing tonight? 
I'm not sure yet. She's she's gonna talk over there. Yeah, it sounds like sounds like she's got a real plan for it. I'm sure uh, it's gonna happen. Nobody at Geeks Gamers has a plan for anything. You know that. We just do stuff. So, uh, the good fella says check one two. Uh, thank you. Check one two. Uh, Richard E. Normus. I just <laughs> watched Red Dawn for the first time. I wish Swayze was alive. He was so cool. Yeah, I mean, uh, Swayze, that's awesome. That's a lo- I have not seen Red Dawn in forever. It has been a long time. Krista's Lobster for six ninety nine. I'm still lost and cold. And Krista? No, you're not. <laughs> 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 you find out on my stream tonight. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a little tease. Crispy Nokin says, much love to geeks and gamers. I stand with Chappelle. Never been the knee. Fuck cancel culture. Let's go, Brandon FJB. Uh, Eric K, Rippa on fire. Uh, yeah, he always is. Is oh, I can't even say the Mario Kart stuff. Has already admitted he's good now. Damn it! I didn't mean to do that. Earlier, so. uh, Chef Easy does it. Says, uh, "Hey guys, we all got to keep fighting the good fight." Yeah, I mean, like even Rippa came out with a you know we made a tweet and made a video you know about we will win and you know I mean I think there's a you know like I think sometimes the perception of Rippa's black pilled almost, but you know it's like he's white pilled. Like you know he's got hope, but. You know, in order to fight the good fight, though, you, you gotta you gotta call it like it is. Yep. You know what I mean? You yeah, gotta call it like against. it is. You know, so that's like so many people. I, I've seen people talk, and they were like, uh, "What's going on with Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers? He liked Dune and Metroid Dread." I'm like, "Yeah, because I stopped watching shit I hate and focused on a few things that's out there. It's still Star Wars still sucks. Kathleen Kennedy's still garbage. You know that article. Marvel or, sucks. Or, DC yeah, sucks. Marvel sucks. DC sucks. Like <laughs> Hollywood sucks." Hollywood is garbage. There are some good things out there, though. Like, there is some good things, and you can find them, but there are few and far between. And and that's why other people are creating so many different cool things. Because there is a market for good shit. You know what I mean? Now, like I said, I want to touch on that Kathleen Kennedy video that's going around. That Twitter <laughs> account that tweeted it out. That is a garbage account, okay? And they could be a garbage account. It's it's. I mean, if you don't take it as a parody anyway, like, it's a parody account, clearly. Um, but that account really sends a lot of misrepresenting things out there. That clip of Kathleen Kennedy, that is Kathleen Kennedy, and that is a Hollywood mindset. But what what was the com? So she made a comment like, if, if you didn't like the film, it wasn't oh, made yeah. for you, and yada yada yada. What was? Let's give some context to that because she was yeah. not talking about Star Wars, even though it does apply to her Star Wars, because she's trash. It, it, she wasn't saying that about Star Wars, but you can apply it to it. So here we go right here. Boom. Yeah, we saw in the intro there. Uh, I can hear myself. No, no, we're good now. Message from Kathleen Kenny to Star Wars fans. And we'll let it play, and then we'll kind of clarify this. You know, there's always going to be God damn people it. when you make... I'll try you, know, you know, there's always going to be people when you make something that's somewhat controversial that are just flat out not going to like what you're doing. And we didn't make the movie for them. <laughs> that's all, ultimately, if, if that's their response is to just cut it off and not even try, you know. So there you Now, go. of course, that, that one, right, if, if, if you assume that she's talking about Star Wars, she's talking about Star Wars fans. Yeah, uh, not even surprising coming from Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah. However... That, it's not what she was talking about. She was talking about a movie from 1985 called The Color Purple, which I believe uh, was – you might know a little bit about it, Rip. Yeah, that's, that's, your that's, head. that was a classic. I mean, who, who – what? Oprah was in that. Everybody was in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like um, a – it was very like black – it was a black story, yeah, like black yeah. female lead, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and so that's specifically probably the controversy she's talking about. Uh, telling a story that's primarily focused on a black female lead and things like that and the criticism they got for doing that maybe but it is a hollywood mindset absolutely to say well if you don't agree with us we didn't we didn't make it for you blah 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 what she's talking about is a little bit different and it definitely isn't her giving a take about star wars or star wars fans although you can apply some things here and there so it's very important to get that context through yes because when we see little clips like this go out uh, of course, everybody's going to pile on because it sounds like exactly something that the head of Lucasfilm would say about Star Wars fans mm-hmm. today. But that's not what she was saying. So yeah. we got to clarify. We got to be honest. Yeah, you clarify it. Uh, she's still a piece of garbage. She's still a piece of trash, and she deserves all the criticism in the world. But 
you know, we don't look good when we are misrepresenting something that someone is saying. There's enough context out there and facts to support how bad she is at her job uh, that we don't need to be doing that. Um, but it's happening, and that's fine. But uh, I think the context is important. Um, criticize her and hold her accountable for everything that's happened. But uh, context is very important. So, look, when that clip happened, the first thing I asked the person that sent me, I was like, where did this come from? And they were like, I'm not sure. And I was like, well, we need to find out. I'm not reacting to this. I'm not retweeting this. I'm not going to make I'm ready to make a video right now, but I need to know. And so I, I sent it to Ryan, and then I found the clip, and, or the full video. The full video is like 57 minutes, so I sent it to Ryan. We were both watching it. He found it before I did, and he's like, it's not about Star Wars. And so I was like, all right, you know, then you tweet it out because you found it first. And, and so he gave the context on Twitter, and that's how we handled it. Look, both of us were ready. We're like, oh, ho, ho. but no, it, it's if it's not there, it's not there. And so um, she's still terrible, though, but that's the full context. We have an article over on Geeks and Gamers. Our, our editor-in-chief, Alex Gerzo, actually wrote up a, a little piece on it, kind of giving the full context to that. So that is important right there. So uh, that's that. I uh, don't know how many people knew about that, but hey, look, I'm still going to be using that clip as a joke, okay? I'm absolutely. Maybe we can get a thing with Brie Larson and Kathleen Kennedy saying it's not made for you. A uh, <laughs> little montage there. All right, what uh, we got here? We, have, we got an update on the, uh, the Marine veteran who stopped that armed robbery. This is him receiving a Valor Award from the county sheriff's with his MAGA hat and a Let's Go Brandon shirt. <laughs> ah, that is fantastic. <laughs> Did you see him on Fox News the other day? He was. He was on there with Dana. Was it Dana Perino? No, that what, he, was uh, that Dana? I don't think that was. That might have been Dana Perino that he did that on. I, I, yeah, I thought it was like him and Dana Perino that were in the interview, and he's like, "Let's go, Brandon." No, and no, no. Like, oh yeah, no. He said was he said Ep Epstein didn't kill himself. Oh, that's said. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah said Epstein didn't kill yeah. That's right. And now he's wearing fucking "Let's Go, Brandon." This guy's probably subscribed to Jeremy's YouTube channel. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh man, that's good stuff. Uh, well, if he's subscribed to mine, he's gonna be subscribed to Patriot Outpost pretty soon too. There's no doubt about that. So subscribe to Patriot Outpost. Limit in my goddamn videos on Patriot, fuckers. Yeah, I thought, it, I thought it was RK was the one they were doing that to. It's, it, no, it's it's my main channel and Patriot Outpost. Every fucking video I post takes several hours to get monetized. Hmm. So, well, like I Bryce, said, the Bryson one, like that one, like listen, the one about Fauci with the dog stuff. Like, okay, I, I could see them finding something in there, some content wise, whatever that they might limit it. The Bryson where I'm just like, look, this is number one on the iTunes charts. Let's go, Brandon. They limited that. <laughs> it's still limited right now. Come on. Yeah, but see, this this happened. This happened to me. Um, this happened to me uh, with uh, D Day Cobra for the longest. And like I said, the algorithm was so friendly to me at that time. But I was getting limited on everything. Now I'm getting approved for everything, and the algorithm sucks for my channel. So it's just you, you can't win. You can't win. So, unless you're back to back champ Ripper. So, uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, Marshall Forward says, Congrats on being number one on iTunes. Bryson Christ is king. I will pass that along to him, Marshall. Thank you so much. The Red Sense uh, with Donnie the Don. So proud of Bryson. Don't underestimate his impact in this movement, uh, Donnie the Don. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the good fella. Hey, Bryson, tell, Bry tell Tyson I said, What's up? I'll pass all of these along to him. Um, I knew we had about an hour and a half with him, and he's had a busy day. He's been on, like, said like six interviews today. So, he was on uh, Glenn Beck earlier. I yeah. told him, you know, we were just glad that we could be the biggest show he was on tonight. <laughs> and after that little Glenn Beck show he was on. <laughs> Did you see what I said to um, – uh, quarter black because he was complaining that he wasn't on that list and i was like yeah that man, list gotta, oh, we should pull that up go dude. ahead and pull that, that up funny. go ahead and pull that up but so i said quarter black you got to get on a like a relevant youtube channel if you want to get noticed by our haters bro like come on you know like <laughs> That's I, right. you know poor guy just uh he's on this little bitty steven crowder show right now so he'll get to the big leagues one day and then we'll bring him on here uh, Jesus. Well, maybe if that maybe if that show could stay on the fucking air. Yeah, I heard uh, that. <laughs> constantly getting blocked. Jesus Davala for five. Thank you so much, Mugsikins. Bryson, you going to make a Justin Trudeau song? I will pass that along to him. Matthew Rives, did y'all hear about multiverse? Rumor has it. 
Uh, what was that? That was uh this net. Uh, I, I was I was just looking at this stupid fucking oh, okay. trailer for Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> oh my God. Did did y'all hear about multiverse? Rumor has it that Warner Brothers is making their own Smash Bros. Uh, characters may include Shaggy, Johnny Bravo, Batman, and LeBron from Space Jam. Cross platform as well. What? Yeah, Warner Brothers is looking at doing a Smash Bros. style thing with all like a bunch of their I- Warner Brothers IPs. Oh, I mean, look, I'm. Go for it. It's not going to be Smash. We've seen PlayStation no. try it. I was very excited for PlayStation Battle Royale All Stars, and it was not good. Um, there's just something. It's like Mario Kart. There's like something magic about that formula that they have for Smash or for Mario Kart. And when other people try it, like there has been good kart racers for sure. Um, there's a Dragon Ball one out there. Krista, have you ever played that Dragon Ball fight, fighting game? That's like isn't there a Dragon Ball Smash Fight- Bros. Fighter Z. Okay. Uh, yeah. Have That's you tried good. that one? Yeah. Yeah. I Is like it, that one a lot, but I play like nothing, every Dragon Ball fucking game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just it's, nothing can compare to Smash, like just the way it is and the way you move yeah. and the things you can use. But it is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, well, yeah, you know, nothing one, can compare to being delayed five seconds when you play online. Well, that's Only what Nintendo I was fans say. have the patience for that. So. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. Is uh, this uh, this Warner Brothers game is probably gonna have better online uh, than Smash. But that's about <laughs> that's it. <true. laughs> that's yeah. about. It. That's, That's a, dude. True. Did you see? Did you see the clips of Mario Kart sixty four, Ripa? Like, uh, no. Nah, online. Didn't. Oh my gosh. It, it, uh, it's got to be fucking bad because it's already bad, it, and now it, you're trying to put in this other shit. It's, it's got to be so, fucking terrible. It's so bad. Uh, so last night during the premium stream, we were playing uh Mario Kart eight, and um, everybody wanted everybody wanted me to, to check out the Nintendo switch online to see how it was. I told him I wasn't interested in it, but so I was like, all right, so we got it on the stream. Me and Krista played. I mean, look, there's no doubt. It's fun. It's fun to play Mario Kart 64 online. That's cool. Well, it's dog shit though. And before I share before I share yours, uh, Ryan, let me share this. So That's this fun. is, this is so bad. Okay. This is so bad right here. Now, you see in the bottom corner, it says your connection is unstable, so the audio may be interrupted. Okay, that's that's what we were dealing with all night last night. So, watch this shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's that, un- that's unplayable, man. Yeah. It's literally It, it's it's awful. Yeah, it, it's it's, it's awful, and that it, they put no effort into this, man. They're just, no, there's fucking stealing more money from Bing Bing Woohoo weirdos who will fucking line up for anything. Yes, and so I, I one thing I'm happy about is I'm happy that I saw so many people in my comments saying thank you. You saved me fifty bucks. Do not, if you are on the fence on the Nintendo Switch Online, do not give them your fucking money. They do not deserve your money if you're on the fence. If you want to go support it, that's fine. It's your right, because I'll never tell anybody to do what anything. You can do whatever you want with your money, but if you're on the fence and you're looking for somebody to, to push you over the edge or pull you back, I'm pulling you back. It is not worth it. You, there's, you have a Nintendo 64. There's emulators out there. This Nintendo Switch Online is not worth your money. It's just not. It's absolutely Step back from the ledge, my friend. Yeah, it's <laughs> unacceptable. Unacceptable. Um, okay, so here we go, right here. <laughs> this was, I, I don't, well, obviously I'm blocked by this fuck. Yeah, so same here. I, don't, I, didn't even, I found that out when I saw y'all posting and I was click, trying to click on the motherfucker, got me blocked. I don't even know this motherfucker, man. Yeah. I ain't even on the list. <laughs> Comics in the Golden Age. Pro tip for enjoying nerd Twitter. And it's got Gary, Adam, Flash, Jeremy, Odin, uh, <laughs> Comics Division, and me. That's that will that's what'll make your experience pure right there. Uh, your Twitter nerd experience. Such a compliment. Such a compliment too, because that it's basically telling you that these are groups of guys that will uh, tell you uh, like it basically is. Um, instead of just mindlessly supporting every goddamn thing that comes out by way of uh, these people that try to leech off of everything nerd culture. So take that as a huge fucking massive compliment. I have no idea who the fuck this guy is. I don't know if he has a following. I don't know what this shit is or if it's just like a, a just he's, a fucking. He's like, got a 20. He's got like 27,000 followers. Okay, he probably got okay. a podcast that gets like 50 downloads a month. No okay. some shit, you know. But uh, yeah, I mean, listen, when you're on lists like this, I feel. Like, to be on this list, I felt like when I was 
on a list with famed white supremacist Eric July <laughs> about comic books. You know, so I, I just feel honored to be on the list. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, oh, yeah, man. it's gosh. it is a <laughs> like I I have said this uh, like so. I, I just don't understand the mentality of one of, of, of being scared for other people. Uh, you're still sharing, Ryan. I know. I was so, showing you your, oh, okay. your fucking comment oh, okay. to black. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't about to pull up the <laughs> porn tab. <I> <laughs> yeah, right there. Uh, how do I get on this list? <laughs> Try getting on a big cha channel, bruh. So uh, <laughs> that's uh, Quarter Black. We love Quarter Black. And, uh, but, yeah, I mean, um, fuck, I lost my train of thought now because Ryan... Uh, Ryan's running. You're welcome. Oh, what it was was so I don't understand the mentality of of another person being intimidated by going these people can't hear what this person has to say. They they can't hear what they have to say. So I'm just like like I remember when I when I did a live stream over on D Day Cobra and I was talking about the veto thing, you know, with uh, Netflix, you know what I mean? And I'm covering it. This was like the day it happened or the day after. I'm like, I don't like veto. I don't trust veto. I think it's a piece of shit. But if you're interested, go subscribe to his channel. Go check him out. Make up your own mind. I'm just telling you my experience on it. I don't like him. I don't trust him. Don't want nothing to do with him. But he was done wrong in this situation. And you have to be fair to him in this situation. And if you're not aware of him and if you're curious about him, go subscribe if you're interested. I'm not. And so why are these people so intimidated by... Someone hearing the opinions of Gary from Nerdrotic or RK Outpost. Do you know why? Because they don't believe in what they claim to believe in. They have no confidence in it, you know? And, and that's that's what it comes down to. So Yeah. Um Yo Jitsu. Hail Geeks and Gamers. Hail Bryson. Hail, let's go, Brandon, and always hail. Uh thank you so much. Uh M -Tac Shark. The Tuesday night's main event is a great addition to the week. Geeks and gamers, keep up the amazing work. Well, thank you. I appreciate well, that. We all appreciate that. Show. We are really you know, we're committed to this show. You know what I mean? And we're really happy about it. We all talked about it beforehand. And, you know, we're, we're going to you know, want to continue to put as much attention on this, bringing guests on. I don't know if guests like hopefully a guest will be a weekly thing. You know, um, we're going to try to bring guests on every week. You know, Ripa has a ton of contacts and a ton of people we could probably bring on. You know, obviously with Friday Night Tights, we have a huge roster of people we could bring on. But, you know, we want it to be its own thing. And as we move forward to the Ripaverse, which, uh, you know, Ripa is going to continue to work on. And, and hopefully we'll have a big audience to launch that in front of and, and along with obviously his huge following and, you know, Ryan's kicking ass. He's about, uh, have you hit 80,000 yet on RK Outpost? No, no, I'm not at 79 yet. I might okay. be there tomorrow. You never know. But yeah, I'm at 78,000, just grinding away. Hell yeah, uh, man. So when it's good, you got to plow through. So that's yes. what we're doing, fucking doubling down. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so, um, you know, it's good stuff all the way around. Um, you know, Krista actually made a upload to her YouTube channel that she told me when she did it, she was it's probably got like 800 views and I got like 10,000 views for her. She was uh, roasting David Jaffe uh, in her Krista ways, um, you know, by basically showing that it's not that hard to find that spot in Metroid Dread, which again, Metroid Dread, I'm out. I'm a little over halfway through it. It's one. It's one of the best games I've played in a long time. Like it's it's phenomenal. Have you ever been a Metro? You're not a big Metroid guy though, Ripa, are you? No, nah, I never like hated it or anything. It just was not. I mean, I played them along the way. Um, you know, um, but it was one of those games. I always like. All right, when I get to it, I will get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got gotcha. you. Type of games. It was never one of those things where I like hugely like trying to make sure I got the latest one and everything. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it's dread is phenomenal um i've always put metroid super metroid from super nintendo is my my favorite metroid game and one of my favorite games of all time this game now i haven't played super metroid in a long time but um at least not all the way through but dread is is going to be competing with it i mean it's that good and uh, shockingly enough mark the cyborg says it's one of the he says it's the best game he's played in not only this year but he said it's several years which shocked the hell out of me uh, to hear Mark say it's that. It's like his type of game, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the those 2D side scrolls. He loves that shit. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, he, he loves this game. And, and I'm pretty uh, sure he played it on an emulator at like 4K. He played well, so he bought it. He obviously has it on the Switch. He played through both. He's played through both, I think. He's beat the game twice. Uh which is insane. I mean, and, and, and that's like not like this was like a week ago he had already beat it twice. I'm like, what the fuck? And this is after he played through every single Metroid leading up to it. 
Like he's as dedicated as anybody he, is gonna be. Did he make a damn video on that shit? I don't know. <laughs> Freaking Mark's insane in the best way. In the best way. Uh, let's see. L E D C. Much respect to you guys and Bryce and Gray for pushing up. Uh, but huge shout out to Eric July's group, the Backwoods, for bringing uh for the hard as fuck metacore. So shout out uh, to metal, Backwoods. Right. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, man. Hell um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. We've been uh. I know everybody's waiting for new music. We're getting there. Just hold what you got. We'll we'll uh we'll get some new stuff out soon enough. Busy man, oh, yeah. busy man. So, um, and he still I, finds I gotta, time to play Mario Kart. I gotta expose <laughs> Eric Jai a little bit here. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> listen, it, he's always giving me shit for drinking Mountain Dew Zero. All right, always, always, always. He's like, oh, I just drink water, uh, whatever. I'm I'm drinking that shit. Blah blah blah. What were you drinking this morning on uh, Four Cannon Sake? <laughs> I was drinking a sugar free Red Bull, man. Oh, that's right. That's right. No, it's man. funny, dude. Like, I went to sleep and, uh, oh, man, I was up to literally fucking five in the morning doing, like, literally dumb shit. Um, and I woke up. I had a long day. I was at Blaze shit. And I was like, bro, if I don't get something in me, I'm not going to survive today. So I had that. I got that fucking uh, sugar free Red Bull. I sipped that shit and then I got me through the day. <laughs> sugar free, zero sugar. <laughs> Go ahead. Fucking Mountain Dew, man. <laughs> oh man! All right. Uh, just because if we're if we are if we're if we're roasting Ripa, uh, I, I gotta I gotta do it one more time. I've watched this about four hundred fucking times. I, I can't stop watching this shit. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen because. This is everybody playing video games. Rippa is all of us right here. This is, he's laughing. Like, what was going through your mind here? Like, cause you're laughing, you seem happy even though you're fit, nah, but like, you, nah, I what? was laughing because I was like, this is a joke. Uh, like, <laughs> and I'm like, this shit is like, the fact that I'm even here playing this shit is amazing right now. So that's more of my attitude of why I was fucking laughing, man. Like, man, this, this is fucking stupid, man. This is dumb. Why am I doing this shit? <laughs> So here we go right here. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I really don't like this game, if I can be honest. I don't like this fucking game! <laughs> Lyndon, Lyndon, you gotta finish the, the race, bro. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Dude, I was, I was so mad last night. I was yeah, so man. mad. Or not last man. night. Sunday. I was so I mad, dude. When I got this woman beating me like fucking like she beat me like three three races three sets of races like back. back. Oh man! Yeah, I was like, nah, bro. This, this. That, that's when you're Brett Favre. You know, it's just time <laughs> to hang it up. <laughs> time to hang the cleats up, buddy. Oh yeah. man! Uh, but I'll start catching <laughs> high school football in Mississippi. <laughs> uh, Enoch okay. Maman for a hundred dollars. Thank wow. you so nice, much nice. for oh, that. Yeah. Really do appreciate that, man. That is awesome. Um, I went to my convenience store. I was horrified to see paper straws with our soda. To my relief, it turned out we're still using plastic ones. Someone came in our store and put paper straws in our containers. Ryan, any thoughts on this person? Paper straws in general. That per whoever did that deserves the same fate as Dr. Fauci. Um, and under the prison, <laughs> uh, under the prison, yeah, under, under the prison, under, and under. paper straws are the worst thing ever. Yeah. And imagine that's going to make any impact at all. That you see these people that are like, but think about the turtles. If some turtle is so fucking retarded that they don't understand not to shove shit in their nose or they can't figure out how to get it out, they fucking deserve to die. To be honest with you, and it is not worth. Me having to go through three paper straws, them tasting like shit on my tongue when I'm trying to drink a milkshake <laughs> or a so Coke bad, or whatever. It, it's not worth it. Fuck you, turtle. I'm going to drink so my plastic bad. straw. It's so bad, man. <laughs> my God. Uh, you know, we were out there, what, like over there fucking West Palm. But I think that was the first time I had a paper straw when I was at West Palm Beach. And I was like, why y'all giving me this shit? Like, mm -hmm. what the fuck is this? You know, because generally places out here, we haven't had to deal with that. And I was like, this... The fact that there's people like I know, obviously Ryan being in the West Coast, that's all a lot of them kind of had converted over to. I'm like, I don't know how the fuck y'all were drinking out of them shits. I don't get it. It's I, awful. I, mean, I, I just wouldn't usually like, 
but that's the thing like you don't even think about it right like it's yeah. not even it's just not normal fucking behavior <laughs> so when you you like go to a, i'll go to a padres game right and that's where you get like a big ass like souvenir cup full yeah. of coke or whatever it is and you start drinking you're like oh it's paper oh my yep. god it's paper <laughs> yeah and then like five minutes goes by and it's just soggy and it's ruined yeah, yeah. so you're just popping it off and drinking it out of the out of the thing like a I don't know, like they did back in the fucking pioneer Never days, all. drinking soda out of cups, <laughs> of straws. Oh man, yeah, pa- paper paper straws are, are absolutely terrible. I don't, I, um, I do not affiliate with anyone. As a matter of fact, we got right here. I got I got a soundbite for you. For anybody, uh, just replace geeks and gamers with paper straws. We're really not affiliated with Geeks and Gamers as far as I'm concerned. There you go. Those guys couldn't hear it, but you guys could. So I got to get it fixed where everybody can hear it when I play that. So I think um, it makes the joke way better to have to explain to us what the fuck you just played after they hear it. Yeah, I think it, so. It works. I, I don't think so. Um, all right. Uh, Rich, <laughs> Richard E. Normus says, Ooh, Krista is in Montreal as well. We're kind of so, uh, trapped souls uh, in Dante's Inferno. Uh, or we're kindred tra- uh, souls trapped in Dante's Inferno. So there you go, Krista. Uh, CSCH for 10. Hail Fellowship and Happy Halloween. I emailed a gift video of a fireworks show with FNT in the actual fireworks. Good for Friday's Halloween episode. Please forward per- to Perry Chan. What costumes are you wearing? Okay, so um, I will. Uh, you emailed that to who? Just email that to me, Jeremy at geeksandgamers.com, or you can do it to Krista at geeksandgamers.com. Um, but I don't know. I didn't get one to DJ Cobra that I saw. But uh, if you can, just resend it to one of those, and then I can forward that over to Perry Chan. In terms of costumes, um, are we dressing up for FNT? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we don't plan anything out until like two minutes before we go live, which basically means are you guys ready? Uh, so I don't now. I will say for Sunday Mario I, Kart, we're dressing up. Krista made that rule. Oh come on. Yeah. I, so listen, I, I don't have a. I think I said it on another stream. I don't have a goddamn costume. I'm not a child or a whore. I don't give a shit about dressing <laughs> up for Halloween. <laughs> Ripper, Why don't you, you go as a nice person then? <laughs> Not really very believable. They don't have a mask that works well enough. Nah, just get him drunk and he, he can be he can be really nice. He'll hug women and talk, compliment them and tell them they're great, wonderful souls, and then tell everybody how much he respects me. Oh my god, that was embarrassing, dude. You already said being nice to women. You didn't have to reiterate the part about you. <laughs> he was like, man, this guy, man, this guy, he he may have my back, man. He. Like, I was like, oh, my God, what's wrong with you, dude? What's I don't remember you? any of that stuff. Therefore, it didn't happen. <laughs> I also don't remember what happened when I reclaimed my manhood by insulting Krista at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, but. that was good. That was good. Uh, now, Ripa, are, you, are we going to be able to get you to dress up for Mario Kart? Or are you just going to be like, fuck y'all? I don't dress up for shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't dress up for fucking any. Krista. No, if I, I told Krista. people, if I had, if there was, like, an actual legitimate, like, Roy costume, which they don't exist... <laughs> I wear it, like with the little glasses, and if I can find like a paper mache shell or some shit, I do Just it. Just like some big poofy thing, you'd wear yeah, that. Yeah, I, I fucking wear it, but you know, I don't think those exist. So at least I could. No I could get one made by if it's five days. I couldn't do it for the simple fact. <laughs> that you say i don't dress up for shit you just shit on it it's like fuck that but then you're like but you know what i do a boy costume <laughs> how lost you are man uh, <laughs> that's on point though that's on brand if he could get a roy costume king like roy, roy yeah costume, i do it <laughs> yeah for sure chris is disappointed I do. oh yeah also. someone said i had a bane mask that's right you, you, yeah, yeah you i remember that mask. like dark knight like, rises a, or or he, he comic did, bane yeah Comic Bane. Oh yeah, uh, oh, yeah. No no, 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 no. It's a Dark Knight. It's Dark Knight. Yeah, because you you po- did you post you posted that yeah, one. Didn't it's a video. You? Yeah, yeah, I posted a video of me like doing a scene or some shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. Exact, That's pretty. Do you have it? It'd be great if we get Riffin to put it on. Right. <laughs> I, I saw that video. The like I saw that video like the other day. Somebody tweeted it out. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where that fucking thing is. At. It's in here somewhere, dude. I remember seeing it. I don't know where it's at, but yeah, I have. I do have. I forgot about that. I do have a bane there. That's pretty I damn funny. That's pretty damn funny right there. Uh, uh, no Twitter results for Eric July Bane. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's there. It, it's got to be there. It's on Twitter somewhere. But I yeah. saw somebody. Did you retweet it the other day at all? 
I don't think I retweeted it, but yeah, it's it's there. It's I remember first putting a video out of, of me like wearing it because this was like when the first when the first mask shit popped out, popped off when people like were starting to wear a mask. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wear this Bane yeah. mask to troll people. It has fucking holes in the front of it and fucking everything. So if yeah, there's a place the voice that me to wear a mask, I just wear the Bane mask. God, it's a fucking sick Rodman jersey. I just saw that. All right, here we go. So Chris posted this over to Epic Game Clips. Uh, so this is me and Ripa. Um, so Epic Game Clips, uh, we uh, actually post a ton of like little funny clips over there. So you guys go subscribe to that. So this is from Mario Kart last uh, last Sunday. Yeah. It's fun. Remember when we talked about how laggy this shit is? Oh, yeah. oh fuck! What? That doesn't make sense. I was in front of you. No, 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 no. We're not doing that shit. We're not fucking doing that shit. Someone send me the clip. Someone send me the clip. I was in front of him. It makes no sense for me to hit his red shell while I'm in front of him. Someone clip that shit and send it my way. That's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I walked right into it. <laughs> Like oh, fuck you, Ripper! Fuck you! <laughs> that is some bullshit. It is what? bullshit. Yeah. 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 So we were just talking about their yeah. servers. That, yeah. That's an example of how mm -hmm. shitty fucking their servers are. That like is where on my screen, I'm literally in front of him. On him, I'm like behind him. Fucking yeah. About that. that's, that's like completely two different perspectives. There. Yeah. And to that's be fair, bullshit. as soon as I got done talking shit and he explained to me, I was like, you know what? You're probably right. Like I need to. I, I, I bet when I watch it, and as soon as I watch, I'm like, yeah, he was hundred percent right. That, he got fucked over. But that's that's what's so frustrating about it, man. Like it's it's getting really old, Nintendo. Yeah. It really is. And this is why They're nobody plays. Money, man. But this way is too much fucking money over there for them not to have some uh, legitimate service. Oh, it's absolutely. Oh, that's drunk trivia says that's why I keep losing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, yeah, that's my bear. It is my baby. <laughs> Edward Teach evidently put this out. He just yeah. tagged me here. Yeah, this is my... <laughs> uh, it's going to be real low, just like a fucking Nolan movie, so. Oh, you think darkness is your ally. <laughs> you merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. <laughs> Molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. But then it was nothing to me but darkness. <laughs> Love Bane, dude. Oh, that's a good. That's a pretty damn good Bane. I'm not even gonna lie. You sounded pretty damn good. So uh, yeah, man, I, gotta, I don't know where that mask is at, but it's in. It's for sure in this room somewhere. Yeah, I'll maybe wear that uh, Sunday. Uh, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Sometimes uh, shit's just laying around, man. Yeah, man. Like, yeah exactly. <laughs> Jeremy went into when it Jeremy when I opened my studio, and I showed Jeremy. He, I think even he was taken aback a little bit, and he's <laughs> yeah. seen pictures of what it looks like before. So yeah, it was uh, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. <laughs> Whew. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, Eli saw Krista come to Southern New Hampshire. Two Chick Fil A uh, places he are there. Two Chick Fil A's are there. So that's that sounds like heaven to Krista. It does, but still too far. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Henry, Daily Wire even said they might disagree a lot with what Dave says, but they are welcoming to release his documentary on their platform too. Got to respect yeah. that hundred percent. Absolutely. Yeah, Shapiro I, actually like retweeted. He's like, "Hey, have you heard of Daily Wire or uh, come to Daily Wire or something like that?" He did say that. I mean, I, I, that's what I really, I really like what Daily Wire is doing. I mean, I got, I got my own issues with Shapiro and and some other things, but like, not like they're not that big of a deal. This is like basic disagreements that normal human beings fucking have, you know. Yeah, but yeah. once, once I'm seeing what Daily Wire is doing and how they're reaching out and they are actually creating new content and they are, you know, they are uncanceling people that were canceled. Like, you got. I don't know how you can't respect that. I mean, that is ultimately, they, they are doing a lot of what I want to do with Geeks and Gamers. Like, my bigger vision with Geeks and Gamers is about doing what they're doing. And I'm, I'm inspired by what they're doing. And guess what? There's room for uh, more of us to do what they're doing. Just because they have done it doesn't mean they have a monopoly on the market. There's a huge market mm -hmm. out there to elevate people like that. And I'm inspired by that. 
And I'm really happy to see it, which, I mean, we've got some good opportunities right in front of us. And that's part of the reason I'm going to Arizona, by the way. And um, the, the goal is to get to Orlando. I want to get a studio in Orlando. I want to get, you know, us in Orlando, in studio. Can you imagine me and Ryan just having a studio to just go record all our shit in, you know, gaming, sports, movies, ca- uh, cancel culture, Hollywood, whatever. Like, it, it's... We'd be unstoppable, you know what I mean? Yeah. Jay's already well, down was, there, you know? And yeah, I was talking to Jeremy about that today. I'm like, man, if we could just if we could just get it a little bit more. So, like, so I just think of, like, how p- fucking productive we can be when we just set our minds to it. And that's with, you know, having to edit shit. That's with fucking still doing every thumbnail. Because that's what we do. Like, I know R- Ripa probably the same thing. Like, mm-hmm. edit all our own shit. Make mm-hmm. all our own thumbnail. Like, all that shit. And, uh... You know, if we could just if we could just find a way to streamline it, find a way to be more efficient, and having that studio would definitely do that. Uh, man, sky is the fucking. It makes it. You'd be surprised as how much um, time is. You know, you free, freed up from you just just being able to knock that stuff out. Definitely, if you had someone like on staff uh, to do to handle that, to like all right, record or just you know press button record and actually you know, handle the upload and stuff like while you guys are banging that stuff out like that, that, like, I mean, that's obviously what TV does, you know what I mean? And you can just imagine just showing up, doing your work and leaving or going to move on to something else. Just just the amount of other shit that you have to do uh, that you'll be able to complete would just be massive. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what we're looking to do. And, you know, we're we're. We're heading, we're heading in the right direction for sure, and I'm, uh, I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna show you guys something really quick, uh, if I can find it. Um, I don't want to get copyrighted though. So, um, it's just so park hopping tonight. Park hopping, which is our theme park channel, which is based in Orlando. They, uh, they actually did a little meetup tonight, and there's a part in the video that I wanted to show you with everybody there that we're having dinner. And it was a really cool little meetup, and it was nice to see everybody there. But I can't find uh, the uh, the part of the video I wanted to play. But shout out to the Park Hopping channel uh, and everybody that came out. Like, they had a nice group of people. You know what I mean? And that's just a whole different dynamic that we've created at Geeks and Gamers. Park Hopping's nothing like what other stuff we do. It's actually nice and respectable. Uh, Ryan's not cussing everybody out except for the rare occasion he gets on the channel, which is few and far between. Uh, yeah, Ryan, that's why they moved the yeah. meetup time, so I wouldn't yeah. be able to go. That's what they told me. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan coming to park hopping, uh, you got to prepare for that. That's like Alex Jones coming to you know the Friday Night Tights. Like that's a tidal wave. You got to prepare for Ryan coming to park hopping. So, um, but yeah, so make sure you go subscribe to park hopping over there, Jay Tugs. Uh, everybody's doing a great job. Buzzed over there, uh, R2. I'm so happy with everything we got going on. And, uh, again, that's another element to the Orlando deal. So, Julian, treat CNN and MSNBC like Facebook. Call people who watch it boomers and they'll run. Hashtag Ron Paul 2024. Thank (laughs) you. And I wish. Appreciate that. Uh, John Joseph Gray. Hey, guys, I was just curious. Did you happen to hear about the petition to fire Bob Chapek? The signatures are at 26,000. Disney needs a change. Is it at twenty six thousand? That's a lot. I mean, it's it's not a not that big of a deal. It's not going to change. Like the, Bob JPEG's not going anywhere. There's so. like two million signatures to f- like fire Amber Heard from Aquaman two or something. Oh, you know, okay. like that puts in perspective. I, 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 yeah, yeah. So remember when the Game of Thrones one, like millions. Like yeah, that one? it's just yeah. you know petitions are are a way of, you know sharing getting your voice out there. I don't think that any petition is ever going to do anything by itself, but petition on top of you know how like performance wise they do more shit like that more feedback from people and it's always good to make your voice heard so yeah uh, i don't um, i don't know <laughs> like i don't i, I can't really tell you just between bob chapek and uh, Iger, like since he's taken over i don't know yeah i mean uh, bob chapek is a he's trash he's been he's the the theme park fans have always hated Bob Chapek. He was terrible for, for the theme park. Oh, he's, he's, sounds he's, like I kind of like the guy. Maybe I'm on Team Chapek. <laughs> Chapek is so bad. He's so bad. Um, and uh, But they already knew this. You know, like the, they're not, nothing's changing anytime soon, unfortunately. John Joseph Gray also says if there was a Metroid movie, uh, would you see it? Uh, I mean, it's all in the context. I mean, at this point, you got to play the numbers. Generally, if Hollywood's producing it, then it's not going to be good. That's just that's just playing the numbers at this point. I mean, are you going to see Chris Pratt's Mario movie? 
Um, I mean, I'll see it out of just interest because I like Chris I like Pratt. Chris. And I, I'm a big fan of Chris Pratt. And obviously, I, I'm a fan of Nintendo. But if I'm looking at that overall, like based on this right now, if you, if you ask me, are you going to be there to see that day one as a fan? No. And based on what I've heard. It just doesn't... He, I don't see how you can make a good movie with Mario. I, I don't see how that's a good idea. But I like Chris <laughs> Pratt. You know what I mean? I, I like Chris yeah. Pratt. Um, so, um, but as a fan, I just look at that and go, ugh, I don't know. Now, I have learned my lesson as far as, like, certain movies. Like, when I didn't go see Captain Marvel, when I didn't go see Solo. By the way, Solo lost money. Um, I didn't see those movies, and I heard from a lot of people. They were like, we want you to see these movies so you can tell us. You know, that's kind of what the Nintendo Switch Online. I, would not, I was not interested in buying that on a fan standpoint. But if I can cost Nintendo a few bucks... It's worth me spending that fifty so I can cost them five hundred or something. You know what I mean? So that's the way I looked at that. Um, but uh, yeah, with a Metroid movie, I'd give or take, you know, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea if I would see it or not. It all just depends. So, um, Eric K, never pay attention to the screaming idiot in the corner. Just keep walking. Ah, uh, laugh at him, record him, maybe get a viral video <laughs> out of it. Uh, T. Fron. Zek says, thanks for all you do, geeks and gamers, and thanks for the great tune, Bryson. Ripa, you are my wife's and absolute uh, and my absolute favorite. So he and his wife's absolute favorite. Now get good at Mario Kart. Uh, the so... best in the world's best. Uh, <laughs> all right. Mario all right. Kart. <laughs> Played against the best in the world. <laughs> world's greatest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. Um, where the hell are we at? Oh, I hate when it jumps. Link, 1945. What's Bryson's opinions on Milo Yunanopoulos? Un- how do you say his name? Milo's Milo name. Yunopoulos. Yunopoulos. I don't like Milo at all. Uh, but Nick Fuentes, which you heard him say he's friends with Nick Fuentes. Uh, do you like them? Well, he definitely likes Nick. I don't know. Do y'all know what he has? Do you, has he have anything to do with Milo that we know of? I don't know. Um, and same question for the panel. Cheers to all of you. So, yeah, for me, I'm not – Milo, I don't have – I'm not really a – I'm not anti-Milo. I just don't care for, never really cared to listen to him. Nick Fuentes is hilarious. <laughs> uh, Nick Fuentes is hilarious. Uh, the dude just, he has, he'll just do whatever he he, he feels like doing. So he, he and he's not going to apologize for it. So you got to respect somebody. Yeah, Nick, Nick's really young and he got a really big audience really oh, fast. Oh, he's got a really big fucking, audience. So. Yeah, so uh, Nick, Nick's funny. I think he's an interesting guy to listen to. Milo, I I'm kind of done with Milo, honestly. Like, kind of kind of old news. He's, he's straight now. Uh, he prayed the gay away, so <laughs> I, I guess that's his next character arc. Um, but uh, Milo was entertaining, that's for sure. You know either one of these guys, Ripper? You ever had any talk? Not like them? I know of them, but I'm not like in any position to like say if I know him like that. You yeah, know I mean, I, there's no way I could do that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Gerald Armstrong says, uh, Milo is coming to Penn State in a few weeks and students are melting down. Well, yeah, it's Penn State. Well, that, so. that sounds like yeah. about right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ex- extreme Oompa. It's so funny, uh, how just speaking out common sense makes superstars of people overnight, like Tom McDonald. Well, I mean, it's because, it's because you have people that, the people that are in an influential position in terms of media, movies, and all of that, None of them, none of them will speak out. You know what I mean? Or the, the things they're speaking out against are, are the NPC stuff. So, yeah, it's all about a demand. There's a supply and a demand. There's a supply that people want to hear other people want to hear people call the shit out. And mm-hmm. that's what's happening. And so um, if, if things aren't. If things aren't bad, then, you know, what's it like Ripa says, the worst shit gets better. Better things are going for me right now, you know, because you yeah. get to call it out. <laughs> um, and that's just where we are. So, um, Extreme Oompa, or movies not being great but enjoyable because they aren't woke. Oh, he, that was a follow up to his other one. Yeah. And like Tom McDonald, man, I think he's taking uh, advantage of a great situation right now. You know, not, not a lot of people have the balls to do what he's doing, and he's taking advantage of it. And uh, I think, you know, He deserves all the the praise he's getting for it. George Mountain, thanks for having Bryson on. Big fan. Question for Bryson. Uh, How you liking Cozy TV? Um, Well, unfortunately, he's not here right now, so uh, I can – I'm sure we'll have Bryson back on again. I think he had a lot of fun on here. So He sounded like he had a lot of good things to say about it. So. Mm Uh, pork lamp salty army has your back bryson much love to you love salty cracker love the salty army 
Uh, dude, Salty just killing it, man. Like, yeah. against all odds. Against all odds. I know he doesn't like doing collab videos, and I kind of understand that. You know what I mean? I, I get why he doesn't like doing those, but I, I know he shouted me out a lot on his channel. Yeah, he I, shout us all out. Yeah, he's a great, because he always talks about, like, me and you and others, like, just really inspired him to kind of keep going, and now he's just killing it, man. So, I mean, mm -hmm. Salty always has a place here. If he ever wants to come on, if he ever wants to come on to D-Day Cobra or this channel, uh, he obviously has a seat, you know, but he's doing his thing. Why would he come on here with 2,000 people watching when he can have 25,000 people watching? <laughs> That's it. But he's just killing it. But I love that dude. We've man. talked about so, that. He's not big into like he, panel settings, uh, panel stuff. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I totally understand that. You know what I mean? Sometimes it, it can be tough. And, you know, like Krista, for instance, Krista is not, it, it, she's here, she's doing work, she's sending me stuff, like, she's already sent me stuff all night about stuff to keep me on track and everything, that's what she's doing, but she's not a panel person, she doesn't like being on these panels, doing discussions and stuff like that. You go over to her Twitch channel, she's fantastic. Me and Ryan, all we do is play video games and cuss. Krista's got emojis floating around and shit, and it's all this crazy stuff, she does her thing, and she's great at it, but it, it, this is, a panel setting is not her strong suit, you know. So, um, let me see. Especially Porklamp. one of toxic men who will talk over her. Uh, Pork Lamp says, Salty watches you, though, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, hey, and I appreciate that, man. Like I said, I, I, he's, uh, he's, inspiring, he's inspired me just as much as he says I've inspired him. He's inspired the hell out of me with what he's done, man. Uh, I love that guy. I love his energy um, and his, his comedic stuff. He's just so damn funny, man. So damn funny. Blue-Eyed Scorpio, I've made... <laughs> I made valid points in that email. <laughs> uh, let's see. Rhythmic Riot says, uh, what's even bigger than Let's Go Brandon meme is the reaction of trying to ban it. It shows that it gets to them. That's true. That is true. Uh, Matt G for a dollar. Thank you. Uh, Franken for becomes a new member. Thank you. Aiken becomes a member for six months. Uh, all people are equal. Some more than others. The woke motto. Absolutely. And thank you for the new members. I do appreciate that so much. Stone Chronicles. Bro, you got to react to Theory's arcade video reacting to a bully. The video mentions geeks and gamers heavy. Yeah, so I talked about that. Uh, so he actually texted me last night. We're talking, and I appreciate him having my back. Um, and, you know, <laughs> there's, a, there's that one channel... I don't even know if I should name them, but like, what's it? Actually, it's turf something. Turf something. They oh, fucking hate my guts. They hate a lot of us, but I mean, they fucking yeah. hate me. And they're just like, I'm anti woman and I'm toxic and he's intimidated by women and he does harm to women and blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh my God. I haven't heard anything wrong yet. Yeah. Like, oh my God. <laughs> well, you know. That's why Ryan's here. That's that's why Ryan's here. So, um, but yeah, I mean, the, the nonsense these people spew is uh is crazy um mike hill do any of y'all uh did any of y'all check out the trailer for the live action version of cowboy bebop krista that's what i, I literally watched it while i was here oh really yeah, yeah. that's what you that were watching I, that was when the audio came through that's why because do we want to do we want to do a reaction watched, nah, nah nah okay nah. okay is it bad yeah, is it leave i don't it. think it's as bad as some of like the still shots and stuff like that we saw earlier but I also don't know anything about Cowboy Bebop. Leave that shit alone, so. man. It's just, yeah. I, uh, Chris, that bitch kind of had her tits out a little bit. <laughs> that. Dr. Rachel Lindbergh for $5. Super sticker. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Rachel. Wyatt, man, crazy's on the left, wimp's on the right. That's where we are today. That's not, that's not incorrect. Uh, Mr. Grant Gregory, every week, the great guest making Tuesdays great. Thank you, Mr. Grant Gregory. Great job on the intro tonight as well. Uh, looking forward oh, yeah. to your intro every week. And I think the audience looks forward to the intro. Do you guys want to see the intro one more time? Do you want to see the intro one more time? Let me know in the chat, yes or no. A sticks for four ninety nine. Thank you. Nick uh, says, um, what's everyone's favorite X-man? X-men, probably, and why? Who? Uh, what do y'all think of the state of the current X Men? If y'all don't it's know, dog shit. I'm sure I'm sure Ripa could explain. Dog Hail. Shit. It's um, fucking all dog shit. It's terrible. I I, I don't know the current state. Um, but I, I mean, you know, all I could say about X Men is go back and watch the animated series. It's timeless. It will never get old. It is it is greatness. Um, you know, like 
those characters are so incredibly iconic. And it's this is why the, the nonsense about diversity and representation is such bullshit. Because X-Men has diversity and representation. Not that we ever thought that way back then, by the way. We just saw X-Men. What is the first, if I'm not mistaken, first episode of X-Men the Animated Series? Isn't that centered around Jubilee? Yeah, she just she gets introduced. Uh, How is that possible? How can they focus yeah. on a woman? How? Uh, yeah. You know? And, yeah. and it's just stupid, man. But um, I, I always liked Archangel. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, Wolverine is Wolverine. Um you know, so the X Men are great. Gambit's amazing. Um, all, all, I also thought Taylor Kitsch did a pretty good job as uh, Gambit in X Men Origins. Uh, you know, Gambit's probably mine for sure. Gambit's uh, awesome. Yeah, probably mine. So, or, or Gambit or, or, or Wolverine. If we're talking about more the like obscure ones, uh, shit. Sink maybe fucking. Uh, but yeah, that's there's so many of them, man. Like yeah. a countless amount amount of them if we're talking about the more more obscure ones but yeah like as far as like the ones that people know about yeah it's got to be probably gambit yeah i mean the, the, like seriously and and i would think the majority of you have seen it but if you have not seen x-men the animated series it is it is truly what makes you know these characters so fantastic like that the, it, everything the opening theme song is, is so iconic so good ryan i don't know if you're a big x-men guy or well, not i, would, I don't well, know anything about current x-men was... by the way what I wanted to ask was uh, how disappointed Ripple was when the Channing Tatum Gambit oh movie God. never got off the ground. Okay, I mean, <laughs> when I heard about it, when I heard that was even in consideration, I was like, you cannot be fucking serious right now. Like, they're going to make Channing Tatum, of all people, try to play Gambit. Thankfully, it never got off the ground, so I, we had no opportunity to actually see that. Um, but, man, that was... That was rough. When I first when I first started, I was like, "This shit, <laughs> this company's a joke, man." But they they're going person or rather character to character, just destroying them every week. It's something new uh, with these guys. We know what happened with DC and fucking the Amazonians and this. Wolverine's by now. Uh, yeah, he's bisexual. He, there's an enemy right now that they're going that he's going against that likes him. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very homosexual coming out of that. Um, you got Wolverine got butt fucked on the moon. Uh, and then we got fucking um, that shit that's coming out with what's well, already out with the trans <laughs> fucking Amazonian. Uh, like I am Bia. <laughs> it's so bad. Where this we are. company, both of those companies, are just in a such a bad state, man. Like it's just a laughable how bad they are. You know I, I, mean? I, just, I just don't get it. I do believe in, in redemption and forgiveness. I do. Except for Channing Tatum. After what he, the Duke, G.I. Joe, Joe, I will never forgive him for this. I don't the, care. Believe it or not, I don't care. That was the first movie that I ever saw him acted in. And I remember that scene where, uh, I don't remember what, where he was like somebody had, they, I don't know if they had died or, or got shot or something. And he was like looking back, trying to like act as if he wanted to, I don't know, save him or some weird shit. And the amount of emotion that just was not, it was just not believable at all. Like, at all. Like, I'm, I was like, they, they, that passed for acting? Like, what? But yeah, yeah. that was the first one. That was the first movie that I saw that he'd acted in was the G.I. Joe Never. Uh, shit. And I was Never. like, this motherfucker is terrible. Like, he is a it, terrible actor, man. Duke is so respected uh, in G.I. Joe. He's such a, he's, a, he's such a respected character. Um, and, oh, my we I'm don't glad I respect because Channing Tatum, to be honest with fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. All right. Uh, <laughs> damn, man. That uh, those movies, like, and to be honest, and here's what's bad. This is what's bad about everything GI Joe. Snake Eyes makes those two GI Joe movies look good. That's how. That's a fucking terrible <laughs> Snake Eyes was. Those. I, I can't even comprehend that. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <sighs> It's it's such a it's such a trash. Uh, the whole GI Joe live action universe is so bad, except for Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow in the two, the first two GI Joe movies. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow are gold. Ray Park killed it, but phew, everything else is so bad. All right, uh, B. I really like Ray Park's follow up on his Instagram. <laughs> sequel to Snake Eyes. <laughs> uh, BFSD says, did y'all hear Ron DeSantis is offering police and businesses from other states to come to Florida because of the mandates? Such a great guy. 
I love Ron DeSantis. Uh, the guy is just a uh, he's he's he. Ron DeSantis is the real life version of Vince McMahon walking down uh, the ramp with grapefruits. That's Ron DeSantis right there, and it's beautiful. Like Ron DeSantis, somebody just put. You know what, Mr. Grant Gregory? Next week we need to get DeSantis, and and you need to get Vince walking out with put DeSantis' head on him. That's Ron DeSantis right there, dude. He is a fucking Chad. So brightest day, hail. Hail Brightest Day. Uh, What's up, S- Brightest Day. SBD Girl says, there's a Nickelodeon Smash Bros. knockoff. Is there? Yeah, yeah remember you, I was telling you, you about it? Yeah. You, oh, you, you said it was good. You that. said it was good, didn't you? Krista, yeah, you I told me it was couple, it, The online know. runs good. Well, I haven't played it myself, but a couple of my friends have, and they said it was pretty good. Maybe we'll try it. Mm-hmm. Is it on Switch? God. Uh, I think I'm going to get so. Ryan involved. I'm going to get Ryan on it. <laughs> so. Listen, listen, uh, listen. No, listen. I don't have fucking time for that shit. Listen. Mario Party Superstars comes out the 29th. We are going to be playing that on Twitch. Geeks and Gamers Twitch. Ripa Twitch. Krista Nova Twitch. We're going to be playing Mario Party Superstars. And it's going to piss everybody off. Because that game makes you more angry than Mario Kart does. <laughs> so, um, I remember the last time this happened. I went out by this brand new fucking game. Have it when it's coming out. Because you're like, we're going to be playing it all the time. And guess what? The online was fucking dog shit. So we bad. played it once, never fucking played it again. Never touched that game since. It was, it, it, it was bad. That was Super Mario 3D World. The game itself is great. It's, it's, it's the online play is what sucks. Like, But the game itself is fantastic. Now, a lot of people are saying it's really good talking about this Nickelodeon Smash Bros. Damn. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll have Zero to check it fucks. out. Uh... <laughs> Marksman, you can't bully Nintendo with money by boycotting. You gotta go for their pride. You aren't vocal. If you aren't vocal, then Nintendo won't care. Hit their gamer pride. Hey, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. Uh, Sir Ruin of House Roundhead. Have you all seen the Dune movie? I think Denny Villeneuve should have a Star Wars trilogy along with having complete creative control. It's good that you put creative control because that's the only way it would be good is if he had complete creative control, which will never happen as long as Kathleen Kennedy... How about huh? we let him make more Dune movies? How about that? We yeah, got no, the sequel coming. Listen. How about we let him make a bunch of spinoff Dune movies? How about that? Well, before I, before I get into this, uh, Ripper, ha, are, are you even going to go see Dune? Do you care? Because you're so checked Probably out on, on all of it, yeah, and I totally nah, understand that. Nah, so. nah. I mean, I've been people talking about it, talking about it's decent, but this probably, I'm probably not going to I hear you. Dune, I, I can't stop thinking about it. Like, I I. I I was blown away by Dune, and I'm gonna go you see, go it, see again. it now if you want to, so, because it's gonna come off IMAX when Eternals comes out, and that's the best way to see it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if you don't see it in IMAX, uh, you're missing out. Uh, to me, it's one of the best films I've seen in a long time, and of course, we went a whole year with not really having films, but then, then but woke Hollywood has been trash for a long time, but uh, I loved it. I think it's fantastic. I, I have a review on the channel. I give it my highest recommendation. Um, it is. A, a slow burn, and I do think it's not. I think Ryan said it too. Like it's not for everybody. You know what I mean? It, there's going to be the slow process, but for me, it, it blew my, it blew me away. Uh, I thought Villainer just killed it. I mean, he's probably. I think he has right now at this point in time. I think he has surpassed Christopher Nolan as just the top guy in Hollywood right now. That guy, that guy's put out some great fucking movies. So, um, but I highly recommend it. Um, and I know Ryan, Ryan, you liked it. You're, you're not as high on it as me, but you liked it. Yeah, I really liked it. I mean, I, I thought it was like a, I don't know, eight, eight and a half, some, a really, really good movie. Mm-hmm. I really liked it. And I think that, um, that's a very difficult book to adapt. It really is. Uh, if you've ever read Dune, you probably understand that. That's a really fucking tough book to adapt. It could have easily been an hour longer, There's so much stuff even in the first half of that book, but a sequel did get announced today. Uh, For those of you that don't know, there's about a two to three year. Well, I would say about three because I'm pretty sure Paul's sister is like two at the time. And so that would like probably around a two or three year time jump. Um, So it'll actually make a lot of sense for when they make this next one. I'm looking forward to it. Um, Timothy says, Ripa, top five books on libertarianism. I mean, that's hard, but I mean, your ethics of liberty, the anatomy of the state, in the fair, that's Ron Paul. Shit, what else? Uh, Democracy, the guys that failed, uh, Hans Hermann Hopper. 
And um, I guess you can throw maybe basic economics by Thomas Sowell in there as well. So there you three go. I give you three Rothbard books, a Hopper book, and a Soul book. So you got it all. <laughs> uh, Butter Biscuit for five on the stream lab side. Not going to be able to listen tonight, but just wanted to say thanks for drawing attention to this song. I don't like modern rap, but I bought this one on Amazon. Uh, good stuff. Also, go, uh, gotta see Dune. Uh, best IMAX experience ever for me. Loved the seat vibrations. Yeah, it's one of the best theater experiences I've, I've had probably ever. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Alexander says, uh, Alec Baldwin's favorite song lyrics, part two. I shot the sheriff and I also shot the deputy. <laughs> <laughs> hit me with your best hit shot. Hit me with your best shot. Da -da, da -da. You've been hit by a smooth criminal. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Cue ball for, <laughs> <Cue, laughs> for $5. I still remember and love when Bryson uh, was uh, like, give me streamers to give subs. And I was like, yo, geeks and gamers and young rip of 559. Uh, so happy it happened. One of my favorite moments. Yeah, that was cool. Like I said, I had no idea that it was him. I don't know if it was. Were you live that night, Ripper? I was streaming because I was. I was. Like, I don't know if he had raided me at one point. Yeah. Okay. Some yeah. Uh, gifted me a bunch of subs. Yeah, that's what one. he did. He raided us and, and gifted us a bunch of subs. Yeah. So. Yeah. And we were like, okay. I, I, I didn't think that was actually him. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? But it was. Yeah. yeah. Was so, crazy. yeah, that was cool, man. So, it, we were happy to have him on. It was it was a pleasure to have him on, and, and you'll have him on uh, much more often. So, uh, Ryan's. Uh, uh, over, over, ovaries rage. Um, Ryan hasn't yelled at Jeremy yet. Disappointed. Krista, stop swearing. That was Grant, Grant Gregory. <laughs> um, let me see. I gotta catch up here. We're almost done. So, C S uh, C H becomes a new member. Thank you for that. B F S D Geeks and Gamers Tuesday Night Main Event is the show to watch when you've had a shitty day. Lots of laughs and real toxic. Thank you so much. Um, oh yeah. Let's see, Mike Hill. Uh, Atlanta Braves took Game One tonight. So uh, uh, they did, good. and there is a there is a man. Uh, it's starting to go viral. I'll make a video as soon as we're done. Uh, it says the chop is racist. He held up a sign at the World Series that said that um let's see there we go we got more sports wars content that's yeah. a beautiful thing sbd girl cursing myself into not thinking of it in advance i could have ordered a hoodie jeremy always wears in a bama hat and dressed as him for halloween uh i would be totally okay with that that's happened a few times in the past and uh it is truly truly humbling when people do that like force goes jeremy did that a few years ago went to a convention i'm like that's <laughs> You know, be careful. <laughs> be careful. Of course, I confront people at conventions, though. Uh, and I'll never let Star Wars Explained uh, live down the fact that, you know, he ran from me because his uh, sister. Uh, I think that's kind of what people say. They call her his sister. So Star Wars Explained sister, I guess they call him call her his wife, but it's his sister, um, ran from me because he couldn't confront me after trying to destroy my channel. You know, but uh, I, I met... What's his name? What's the guy's name? Brian Young? Is that his name? Yeah, I, I confronted Brian him. Young, yeah. Confronted Brian Young after he lied about me. Um, I confronted Star Wars Only. Star Wars Only was the only respectable person, by the way. Me and him had so much beef. And he came up to me, and we talked it out, and it was good. Um, I saw... Yeah, I think, I think Star Wars Only is a decent guy. Star Wars Only is yeah. decent. He was decent. Like, yeah. I, me and him do not see eye to eye still, like, on a lot of shit, like, on the whole Star Wars landscape or whatever. But, like, we're cool. Yeah. We're very cool. Like, I, I he me, me and him talked it out. He was a great guy. Um, who's the other guy? Who's that fucking guy? He's got a little bitty channel. Uh, but he's always, like, shilling for, for Lucasfilm. I can't remember his name. Um, Seth Saunders? Yes, Steel Saunders, Steel Saunders. Steel Saunders, yeah. Steel, Steel Saunders. Saunders. I saw him, and I was going to confront him, but he was in line for food, and I just felt like, okay, that's the wrong place to, you know, like, it just, it just didn't feel right, you know what I mean? Like, Brian Young was sitting there having a fucking soy latte. No bullshit. And I walked up to him with the camera on, and, and I was like... Brian Young, hi, Jeremy from Geese of Gamers. How you doing? Hey, next time you want to quote me uh, just in the future, why don't you reach out so we can kind of make sure that you're not misquoting me and uh, we don't have any more issues in the future. And he's like, oh, okay. Uh, fucking people. 
Well, yes. Next time we go to uh, Star Wars Celebration, if you are a Star Wars YouTuber and you have shit talked me, I will find you. I will confront you. I will shake your hand respectfully. I will look you in your eye and I'll ask you to explain yourself. That's it. We'll just have a conversation. Do it, baby. We'll just have a conversation. Imagine so, going to another Star Wars celebration with this current state everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, you've been put on notice, you fuckers. Zero hour discussions with JM Cruz. React to the Cowboy Bebop trailer. Hashtag Let's Go Brandon. Apparently it's too cringeworthy. And I don't know enough about Cowboy Bebop anyway. If I knew about it, I'd pull it up and we'd react to it. I don't know enough about it. We'll also so, definitely get a claim from Netflix. So. Mm, yeah, yeah. There we go. Um, let's see. Uh, R I E W O L D T 12 thoughts on South African cricket. Quentin. Is that a real name? Quentin de cock being left out because he wouldn't take the knee before the game. That's, is that a real? Yeah, that is a real story. <laughs> okay. Um, is that name real? Yeah. Quentin okay. de cock. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know about that, African. but so he wouldn't take a knee. So he was left out of the game. Wow. Like. See, this is that authoritarian bullshit, man. Like this yeah. is, they are forcing people to adapt to them or they're going to, <clears throat> they're going to cancel you. Oh hey, you want to do a quick, I have a story on it. Let's do want. it. We can Let's do, do it. a quick one. Yeah, we're almost at the um, end here. Mike Hill for five. Obviously the director of GI Joe two felt the same way. So they killed off Duke. Hell Yeah. Edward says, X-Men are a clear reflection of the deluded left, segregationist, supremacist, socialist, fascist. Xavier was like MLK, now he's militant. Is it that bad, Ripa, the current run? Oh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty, it's pretty fucking bad, that's for sure. Um, Abomination AJ, many bless blessings in y'all's future. Keep bringing us great content. It's nice to hear homies having real conversations, talking mad shit. That's what we do. City Walk says, Jeremy, may I take your order? Pete Prees, Chitty Walk. <laughs> okay, that's good. That was good. That was good. Uh, Defiantly Trill, if you like Bryson's Let's Go Brandon song, make sure uh, you get his album, Letters to the Church. It's dope. Uh, yeah. It's only music I bought it recently besides Rippa's. It's the only music I bought recently besides Rippa's. Um, nice. No, yeah, that's great. Okay, what do you got? All right. I'm sharing my screen. Have you you've seen that episode of South Park, right? Jeremy's yes, like she yes. walk. Yeah. You watch she chicken. So, that's why I laugh. That's, that's why I laugh. Because <laughs> <laughs> after I, when I read it, I looked at it's the avatar. Like it's the avatar of him. Like in the avatar. <laughs> Holy fuck! That's so good. Oh. Goddamn Mongols. Uh. <laughs> Mongolians. <laughs> That's what I felt like playing Ghost Sheep. Yeah, it's Ghost Sheep. I said that on, I said that on street hard 50 times when I was gonna play that fucking game. Goddamn gold, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, right. we're going to clip this for Sports Wars. Rip, uh, I mean, Chris is going to be on Sports Wars. All right, let's give Rip a right, yeah, yeah. Here, representation there. All right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. So, well, no. Uh, so this came up. So they won't call us racist. There you go. All right, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> I saw it was uh, it was very smooth of Jeremy in the middle of the stream when he's talking about like listen they they want to say like uh, tokenization black people all think the same all this stuff and then I see during the stream he like switches Bryson up he's like oh it's not good look to have the white people on top of the black I didn't even think that I was I didn't even think that. <laughs> I was watching. Uh, I was just trying to move Krista to the back because she never talks so you know right. not top billing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this came up in the chat. This is a brand new story to all of us. I saw Lyndon shared it in the Sports Wars chat. But this is the type of thing that's going on in sports right now. Kyrie Irving has been banned from all activities because he doesn't want to get the jab. Now this, this guy was not allowed to play because he didn't want to take a knee for Jeez. social justice garbage. Cricket, South African star, Quinton Decock. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Uh, pulls out of 2020 World Cup match after refusing to take a knee. South African wicketkeeper batsman, whatever that is, uh, pulled out of the 2020 Cricket World Cup match after refusing to take a knee. His absence was a big blow at the toss before the match as Proteus captain Temba Bavuma revealed it was due to personal reasons. But soon after... 
Cricket South Africa revealed the personal decision by South African wicketkeeper Quinton de Kock not to take a knee. All the players had been required in line with the directive of the CA board on Monday evening to take a knee in a united and consistent stance against racism. This is also the global gesture against racism that has been adopted by sports people across sporting codes because they recognize the power of sport to bring people together. So you recognize the power to bring together, but if someone doesn't align, if someone doesn't want to do that, then you don't let them play. Is that really a united message? This is such What the shit. hell is this, dude? This is insanity. Um, that's that's look, funny that how they work with like how it's talking about these different boards basically requiring their players to do that like that. That like seems to defeat the entire purpose yep. of what that I guess they thought that was supposed to be in terms of this 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 sacrifice by way or statement that these players are supposed to be making um, that's on their own like kind of accord. Whereas to this is completely manufactured. It's completely manufactured. It's completely controlled, and they're upset that a player decided not to do what they had decided that they should be. It, it's a complete gimmick like that. The entire gesture, which I felt was always a joke, but it's especially considering how corporate that it is. Um, and they're flat out admitting that that's the case. Silly. Yeah. It, if if everyone's forced to kneel, that means nothing. Yeah, exactly. It'd be the same thing if every single person was forced to stand with their hand over their heart and recite it in a certain way, right? Then that means nothing if everyone is legitimately forced to do that right. thing. Right. Um, they've got a little bit more here. After considering all the relevant issues, including the freedom of choice of players, the board had made it clear it was imperative for the team to be seen taking a stand against racism, especially given South Africa's history. Oh, I can tell you what's going on in South Africa right now. Uh, oof, I don't even want to get into that on the sports board. <laughs> yeah. The board's view that was that while diversity can and should find expression in many facets of daily life, this did not apply when it came to taking a stand against racism racism all players are expected to follow this directive for the remaining games god it, 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 it's a manufactured joke man that's i didn't know that like that but it's not surprising uh, but having known that the fact that there are people that at all take that gesture serious is just hilarious that it's basically it's you're, you're forcing your, the players to do it so it means absolutely nothing it is is just it's not even symbolic in any sort of way. It's just basically you're going through the motions and the players are doing it just because for the sake of wanting to play. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's it's absolutely dis it's disgusting is what it is. And again, this is why we have to continue to sort people that are out there doing their own thing like Bryson Gray, you know, like Ripa, like all, uh, everybody here, like support independent people that are standing against this bullshit because the momentum is picking up. The momentum is picking up. You just saw Floyd Mayweather. Come out in support of Kyrie. Yeah. You think they're gonna try to you think they're gonna cancel Floyd? You think money is gonna bend the knee to them? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Not even close. Not even remotely close is Money Mayweather going to bend the knee to this bullshit. And we're it, like I'm obviously Enith Cantor is fucking crazy, but <laughs> what he's doing right now is putting the NBA in such a difficult position that I, I think it's hilarious. But that's uh we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up so we can move on, but that's a sports wars clip we're gonna have. All right. So there we go. Uh yeah, so we'll just end it right there. All I'll right. Figure out a good spot. To, figure out a good you spot. Can that you, just... you, you, you can end it right there. You can end it right there. I do a cold I do a cold end on mine when I clip stuff out. <laughs> I know. Well it's funny because you're just like uh Floyd Mayweather and Inez Cantor, and yeah, we can just end it right there. Like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right. No like, but this is absolutely nuts. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, Krista, what are you playing tonight? I don't know yet. What are you going to do? You're going to go. So you're going to be on Twitch. I'm going to let yeah, you bounce. Usually, so. Okay. Usually I chat for a little bit. and Oh, hi. Usually I chat <laughs> for a little bit and then um, we choose a game. All right. So Krista will be live on her Twitch channel. Krista Nova here in about what? 10 minutes you'll be live. Yeah. Okay, so, so cheeks, what's going on? She has stars. It's little stars. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> stickers, Krista. I, I'm Ryan's worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wrong. guys. All right, Krista. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, so now I'm on the bottom. I'm bottom bitch now. 
Um, uh, all right, so Pork Lamp, the Ancient Order of Men. He's a base dude, and he has up-and-coming YouTube channel. He's got great takes on politics and science fiction. Uh, and then City Walk. Keno, you order chitty chowa? <laughs> chitty beef? And then another one. Uh, where'd it go? Fuck. Hang on. And then he says, uh, well, me and Fat Steven Seagal beat up those Mongorians. Uh <laughs> oh man, what a funny state. He doesn't do it anymore. This reminds me. Uh he doesn't do it anymore because of course uh like the games media journalists got yeah. all mad. Yeah. But Dr. Disrespect used to fucking do this fucking like uh Chinese fucking um I, he was basically speaking gibberish, but it was like because you know he'd be playing like uh H1 and he he'd be having to go against these Chinese uh people all the time who on his servers lagging up the fucking place. If those videos are some of the most funniest fucking videos that I've ever seen when he would when he used to do that shit and he just basically be like fucking uh, doing this like mumble chinese shit and it's some of the funniest goddamn shit you're ever gonna see you used to do it all the fucking time he didn't do it anymore because obviously uh some games journalists media got fucking upset that he was doing it oh he's making fun of chinese people or asian little bullshit and he kind of he still makes fun of them for getting mad but it's some of the most funniest shit you're gonna see if you haven't yep, seen it absolutely um <laughs> Eric K says, always knew Jeremy was a power bottom. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so uh, I did, uh, and thank you, Eric, and thank you to all the mods. You guys have been doing a great job tonight. So one thing I wanted to repeat really quick, uh, we are doing a meetup in Arizona, and that is happening right here, November 4th. Uh, in Arizona at the End Game Bar, and that is the outside of it. It's a pretty cool-looking place, man. So, uh, so we're going to be there. Um, the owners uh, are really cool and, uh, we're going to hang out and we've got some great opportunities, uh, in Arizona. I'm going to be meeting with, uh, some, some people and, uh, we're going to see how it goes. But if you guys want to come out there and meet Gary, myself, and probably a few more people from the geeks and gamers team, we don't have all of that figured out yet, but that is on the website right now. So you guys can go check that out. Make sure, uh, I think I have, uh, it looks like I do have that time confirmed by the way. So 4 PM Pacific on November 4th, which is a Thursday. And uh, we're looking forward to it. So hopefully a lot of you can come out. Um, and again, I'll repeat this on Friday Night Tights as well. So it's going to be cool. Looking forward to seeing a lot of you out there. And uh, that's it. So, Ryan, what do you got going on, man? Uh, I don't know. Probably more Alec Baldwin, Dave Chappelle videos, whatever happens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sports wars. I'm just doing my thing. Dr grinding away. Heck yeah, heck yeah, man! You've been you've been killing it, man. So, um, you know, really I think happy. This latest see. video, I just I will say, I just released a video. Go support Krista if you want to. Go watch my video before you do that. The run may be over. The algorithm may have finally turned. YouTube's back end went down for a minute today. That might be the end. You never know. Hey, so. let's see. Let me see if I got affected on D-Day Cobra. That one video I told you about earlier just fucking died. I mean, it just mm -hmm. died. Like, it was tracking number one out of ten for my last ten, and then it's just fucking dead. That's fucking it's algorithm. fucking man. dead. Like, it went, it's got a, hang on, what is the like-dislike ratio? On my Alec Baldwin video got demonetized, and then no, after that, it got to 50,000, and then it just stopped. None of mine uh, have I'm gotten demonetized. 10. It's crazy. So, yeah. right now, <laughs> I've got a video, my, my Alec, or my uh, Fauci uh, lied and dogs died video has a 99.9% .9 like to dislike ratio. Nice. It's like it's like 1800 up votes to like two down votes. Nice. <laughs> I was like, man, Fau Fauci's a hated motherfucker, dude. He I really know. is. I know. Listen, I said it in my fucking in my one that got demonetized. Maybe this is why it got demonetized. Uh I was like, listen, Fauci's responsible for the deaths of countless people in America. He's responsible for the destruction of the economy. He's responsible for the loss of people's jobs. None of that matters until you do fuck with a dog. You mess with a dog, everybody will hate your ass. Yeah. That's the plot of John Wick 4 right there. Yeah. Dr. Fauci's the villain. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, everybody's going to be on the other side. Uh, yeah, no, 100%. Like, it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that, um, that people are finally starting to wake up. I mean, they have been for a while. You look at the like dislike ratio on that National Geographic bullshit. Like that's one of the worst ratios I've ever seen. I think it was worse than cuties. You know what I mean? So, um, 
Um, SBD Girl says, Jeremy, what's your favorite of the multi-pack of signs I sent you? The controller, easily the controller uh, sign is definitely my favorite. I love the evolution of that. So that, that was fantastic. So I will put a, I'm going to put that in a frame and put that up on my wall. So uh, that is awesome. Um, okay, so it has uh, been another great episode of Tuesday night's main event. Uh, I appreciate all of you being here. Uh, appreciate Bryce and Gray for, for being here. That was really nice to have him. I don't know what the plan is for next week. We never know what the plan is because we just kind of wing it and kind of figure things out from there. But, um, you know, I've been posting a lot to D-Day Cobra. Uh, so, again, the, the kind of my entire vision for Geeks and Gamers is finally starting to take form. Like, this channel is is going to become more of a team, m more so of a Geeks and Gamers channel, not Jeremy-centric. Jeremy-centric is there. D-Day Cobra, if you want to just see me bitch about Hollywood and politics or whatever the hell else, that's what you'll get over there. Um, you're going to see different faces over here and different things over here. I'm going to try to cover gaming more. Obviously, still going to bitch about Hollywood occasionally here. And then, you know, live streams and other things. So, um, that's happening. And uh, we'll see how it all plays out. But I'm really excited for that. So, Ripa, what do you got going on? Just doing a show, 12 p.m. Century every day. Um, appearing on a couple of show, other people's shows throughout the week. Uh, aside from that. Just grinding away behind the scenes, trying to prepare for hopefully, you know, the at the end of the year, the release of the comic book stuff, and um, yeah, I'm excited. Hell yeah! Um, yeah. all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna send you off, guys, with uh, tonight's intro again because I didn't play it earlier when I asked you because I got sidetracked. So we're gonna play tonight's intro and then look forward to next week. Uh, and uh, Mr. Greg Gregory will have something new for you as well. So here we go. Good night, everyone. Thank you for the support. Go support Krista over on her Twitch channel. Um, Wolverine uh, Snit says, uh, so glad you, uh, to find you lads. Well, thank you. Uh, appreciate that, man. Um, we're glad you found us thank and you. happy to have you here, man. So, uh, make sure you subscribe to all of our channels, RK Outpost, Patriot Outpost, uh, Young Rip of 59, Young Rip 59 Entertainment, and, uh, D-Day Cobra, uh, and here as well. So, all right, guys. So here's, uh, tonight's intro as an outro, uh, and we will talk to all of you later. Let's see what is on TV tonight. We now go live to Orlando, Florida, where Jeremy is being asked to pronounce a word. Let's check to see how he is doing. Come on, man. Say the sticking word. Orangutan. Orangutan. Uh, uh, Orjagantan. Son of a... Think I'm fucking with you. I'm a simp. <laughs> Because more people MVP. thought that he was better than you right. thought he was. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I really don't like this game, if I could be honest. I don't like this fucking game! <laughs> Lyndon, Lyndon. Yes! Yes! Whoa! Yes. Hold fucking on, crazy. hold on, hold on, hold on. Steph Curry won What's the undisputed... What's the solution to this? Steph you know, there's always going to be people when you make something that's somewhat controversial that are just flat out not going to like what you're doing. Right. And we didn't make the movie for them. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that ultimately, if, if that's their response is to just cut it off and not even try. <laughs> Now this is more like it. Fuck 